going on, y'all? It's Friday night, and you know what that means. It's fucking time for the Thuggalo Show. I'm Elixir, and as always, I'm joined by my co-host and brother. What going on, Terrace? Happy Friday. We all made it through another week. Uh, we all know, I don't know about y'all, but it's been a stressful fucking week. But that don't matter because it's the end of that motherfucker, and it's Friday night, 10 o'clock, which means it's no fucking shit. Thuggalo Show time, boy. And I am tired as fuck. Yeah, I feel it. I've had my kiddos all day long because they didn't go to school today, boy. And when I tell you them little little rascals was on fucking 17,000% today, I promise right. you, dog. Yeah, so y'all on spring break now? They are, yeah. Well, yeah, today yeah. I kept them home because I couldn't get them from work. So I was like, all right, well, or I couldn't get them from yeah, school. I'm not, yeah, I'm So right. I was like, fuck it. You guys can stay home today. And then, yes, next next week starts their spring break. So it'll be with me all week. Yeah, boy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, today is the first day of spring break. Uh, well, you know, the last day of school that, you know, my son went to. Well, too. technically now it is. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Spring break's officially started. Which means and, like, all uh, the parents are yeah, about to be at home. Exactly. It don't mean shit nuts. to me. Yeah, because we don't go on vacation. Shit to me. Ain't nobody going on vacation. No. Ain't nobody got time for that. That just means I'm going to have to be at work when it's nice outside. Because, I mean, to be honest with you, it's not been nice this week. Not nah, So, last week, it was like fucking 70 degrees, and we had like tornadoes and shit, and like all of that shit. This week, it's fucking 32 degrees outside, like fucking windy as a bitch. We had, there was a big storm that came through Michigan today, and like I was at the bottom edge of it, so like I didn't get, I got like maybe fucking like like a half a dick of snow, you know what I mean? So like yeah, no there was shit. nothing you, out there. You seen that picture, yeah, you showed me that picture, I'm like, god damn, still? Like, hey. look, man, in my opinion, we need to stop this whole fucking groundhog tradition. I think it's a bunch of fucking bullshit, it's, in my opinion, because it's never fucking right. And get this shit, bro. Cap. <laughs> Some states don't even be using groundhogs. I, I want to say it's Florida. I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, Henry Thomas just said it's 85, sunny in South Florida, so maybe he Hell can say yeah. whether I'm right or not. But I'm pretty sure they use a fucking possum, yo. Uh, I've also seen some or, pretty pretty crazy ones out throughout the different states just like you know each state doesn't doesn't go off of the uh dropping the regular ball on new year's there's some states right. that drop like fucking uh, uh Weird ass. Bombs. corn oh, no I mean... corn i think it's nebraska <laughs> that drops a fucking corn oh, down yeah, okay, in okay. the center of wherever nebraska's biggest town is sorry nebraska lincoln. i'm not shitting on you maybe i don't know it is, lincoln, lincoln, it, is lincoln. it probably is lincoln <laughs> I well, yeah, know my, my my capitals and state tonight tonight like we said uh like you've seen oh, in the yeah, title it's just a clowning stream so we're not really there's no structure to this uh stream tonight so we're just bullshit and uh we did hint at a um open panel tonight so halfway through the show maybe we'll drop the link there's and let you guys in and we can uh we can bullshit and you know have a discussion like we used to have because we do got some topics to talk about actually uh, like, where's my lighter? I didn't take it. Oh, okay. It wasn't me, bro. Use that torch, sweet. Yeah, I was, I did. You read my mind. I was literally grabbing for it. It's even already on low. It was ready. It was. I'm almost out, and I just picked up some new wax the other day. We didn't oh, look, man. bro. We didn't even make it halfway through. It's fucking five minutes in. Um, it was our demonetization it. again. We already at three strikes, but you know what? It doesn't matter because we don't have it turned on. So. Oh yeah, yeah. We ain't even monetized yet because. Fucked in strikes. Actually, I we mean, are, ob we obviously. Just don't have it turned dude, on. Oh yeah, technically, yeah. You're right. We are. We're just. We're official, like a referee with a whistle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck. Look, easy juggle. Fuck it, smoke. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm here in a second. I got, I got, I just did a dab right before we went live, so. Why will he do, why we heat up this dab? We got somebody actually backstage already who's been, like, a traveling fucking crazy man all over. Last time you guys have seen him here. He got me the shirt. It's been, oh man, I fucking love that. He that got has, me the shirt. I'm speaking right now, before we bring him on, that is probably my favorite Ouija drop so far, is just this shirt. 
just this Dude, shirt. Even the words so let me rock. It's so hard. All right. And All then right. the back of it, the giant mushroom, the C-17, and hatch him in on it. Man, this fucking sock I got on is killing me. But, with all but that anyways, yeah, said, I was sitting out. here. I was sitting at home or at work or whatever, and I get a random message from a homie of ours that you 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 haven't seen him on the show in a while, but you've definitely seen him around at Juggalo, uh, Juggalo Ohio 2 fucking juggle a weekend obviously because that's where he got me this shirt he's like hey here's the merch y'all want a homie job you want a homie pickup i said fuck yeah give me that let me rot shirt and the darby o'trill shirt that you know he drew himself and shit but anyways that homie is none other than jay herm and we're gonna bring him up right now Bam! what up what up homie, what up, homie? Whoop, whoop. aloha it's Welcome been a back. long time since you've been on this screen. It has. It has. Correct it's me if I'm back. wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. The last time you were on screen was the Violent J interview, right? That was the last time I was on. You were I ran away the after you Violent were J. Of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I reached. The, awesome. I reached the pinnacle of being a thuggalo in my eyes. I guess. <laughs> You're like, yeah, no need for this shit no more. <laughs> Uh, I want to say what up to EC Juggalo, yeah, because he was there at uh, oh, yeah. at Juggalo weekend, and he was, man, I kept seeing these Anamoya shirts, these things, and I was like, what's going on? And all of a sudden, I only see two people have them, and all of a sudden, I see this Juggalo run by me, and he's like, where in the shirt? And I'm like, where did you buy that? Because I know you didn't get it from anywhere, because there was nowhere to buy it. And he was like, man, I looked online and there was something from Ouija saying that my shirt is somewhere uh, at this. I believe it was at a restaurant or something like that. And he saw that and he went and grabbed it real quick. He said it was still Fago soaked and everything from uh, the night before when uh, he did Fango Armageddon. That's oh, hard as the- fuck. Yeah, it was pretty fucking dope to hear. I was like, damn. I was like, where'd you get that? I want to buy that thing. So, yeah. He's like, but, nah, uh, not for sale. <laughs> not for sale. Um, no, I can, yeah, I can Juggle- test to that, man. Because when I caught the shirt Ouija was wearing at fucking Violent J's birthday party, it was, uh, it's not even, it's fucking, uh, God damn it. Who's, what's that band? He did that song. Heart Attack with, Man. Uh, yeah, Heart Attack Man. Sorry, my president wants to grab you by the coochie. Yeah, dude, I, I won't get rid of that <laughs> shirt. There ain't no way. So me, yeah, me also and me and little we, got, we both got Ouija shirt. Another little takeaway. Thank you, Mr. Wacko. I don't know if you're watching from over across the pond, but this is that last of the cotton candy that I got from that gentleman. And looking all good. He had a great show, too. Right he, I thought yeah, he was. I thought Paris. I'd seen he's some in Instagram posts. Yeah. in Paris? Yeah, brother. He's in yeah. Paris right now, brother. Well, well, he's, actually, he's, he actually well, is in Paris. Yeah, he's actually in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Shout out, there. Whoop. Miss you, doggy. Whoop, Can't wait whoop. to see you real soon. Big Papa, love you. We'll see you in, like, fucking... You guys, the gathering is creeping up so fucking fast. Do you guys realize this? So fucking oh, no. fast. So fast. So fast, but yet so slow. And and the crazy thing is, is we're, getting, we're getting Tom Woods uh, float announcements already before we're getting anything gathering related, which is like, oh, come on. That's afterwards. Give me. Give me. I haven't even something. looked at the gathering website lately to see if there's been any update. Nah, there, there's nothing yet. I've been watching. I've been scoping and trolling all over my fucking all over there waiting man because something wicked this way comes right we're gonna, i'm telling you mm-hmm. i feel it i feel it. i don't know about y'all other than other than amo- other than ammonia and ammonia and ammonia and ammonia uh fucking and then the meaning uh and ammonia yeah and ammonia See, we've uh, we've went over this like four times and still can't before get it right. the show, and we still can't fucking say it because <laughs> I left my helmet out back somewhere. 
and I'm not getting it because I don't got time. Uh, but I, for one, am super excited for this album based off of the artwork and like the lore strictly already. And the drop is absolutely gas. That fucking the merch that he has is fire. And a whole Darby and Ouija album. Yes. And it's just Ooh, them two with one feature on it. We were just talking about this a minute ago. There's one feature That's on the it. The set list. Yeah. The track list. Or track list. The set list. Yeah. Do a whole, <laughs> do a whole show. Do it in its entirety. Look at this album cover. The back. This is the, I, I love this shit, dude. Dude, this it's is so, so much to it. Even has so an dope. FDA logo on the fucking bottom of it. <laughs> FDA approved, but it's been discontinued. Only take uh, Anamoya if you are already dead. Already dead. And look, I was peeping on this earlier, and we were talking about me and Elixir were backstage and, and bullshit and earlier before the show, getting all of our uh, shit together. And uh, I seen I seen this. I seen mycelium. So, you know. I you know what that is. Me being me, uh, I immediately fucking went on here and did some research about what these because mycelium, for those, those of y'all who are not in the know, mycelium is the um, is the network of um, it's like a brain fun guy before you get mushrooms. Mushrooms yeah. are the fruiting body of mycelium, which is like, like Elixir said, the brain of, uh, of mushrooms. So like I, my brain, I would, like I said, I was like, oh, this is dope. So I immediately went and started researching what these mushrooms are. And, uh, I'm gonna stop sh- sharing this one. And the first one is, uh, <laughs> Kibaloma anaminophilium, which is commonly known as the ghoul fungus. Yeah. Which is, which is dope because um Ghost it gets fungus. its it gets its common name from the uh prosperity of the fruiting bodies to spring out of decomposing animal remains. Which takes us back to if we go back again and look at the other thing. I feel like a scientist doing a presentation. You guys are coming to my <laughs> TED talk about mushrooms. This is dope. <laughs> if we go back over here to the other one with the mycelium, this one's called uh, separophilic mycelium, which we will come back to. And we Googled that one. And that one is. Boom. It is. Uh, it is a type of mushroom that obtains its food by absorbing dissolved organic materials, obtaining nourishment, shit. obtaining nourishment from the products of organic breakdowns and decay. So meaning dead shit, which is dead fucking shit. dope, which is super dope. That may, that might just be my nerd nerding out, you know, but I think it's super dope. Here, I want you to do something real quick. Go down and click on the arrow for what are the fungi in humans the the particular whatever the fuck fungi most fungi are saprophic and non-pathogenic to plants animals and humans however a relative new fungal species are phylo phylo top pathogenic cause diseases infections allergies and man often produce toxins that's not that a good plants, one animals no that's a bad eat, one yeah don't eat that one don't eat these mushrooms <laughs> don't eat Shite these mushrooms fun guy. this is dope i'm excited for this uh the the fucking yeah. super- the track the track list like you said man there was only one feature on it violent j Kind of reminds me of Detritus, except for maybe it's an actual track. Because, I mean, in Detritus, I think Violent J was just kind of like an announcer or a radio right. broadcast. You know what I mean? Right. But, yeah, dude, at first I didn't think it was a track list. Because, like, the first thing I read was Kennel Cough. And I was like, all right, so what else? Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? What else? And then I was like, Waffle House Warlock. I'm like, wait, that's a weird fucking side effect. That's a fresh <laughs> name. Nah, it is fresh ass name. Dark Moon Talisman. Some nerdy ass shit going on, Ouija. And then we go to Nugget Bowling. Which I mean. Bowling. 
and then Juggalunix. Now we're going back to Juggalo shit, and now we're going back to kidney stones. Now we're going back to real ass symptoms. <laughs> you know what's cool is it's a it's a Darby and Ouija album, and you get the uh like it's like uh Darby's names because you know Darby's names on his oh, album, yeah, right. his names tracks are always yeah yeah alligator yeah. tears and crocodile isle and and like fucking, fucking wash your clothes and take a bath you smell like garbage you stink. And... <laughs> yeah you smell but think lovely. about this think about this they, like darby's only been signed for so long and the way that the commercials are the way that it's all set up the thought that's put We lost him. Thank you. Cut out. Yeah. yeah, we lost your audio. Oh, he's got a phone call. Techni- yeah, phone call. Michael Mather said, uh, "Kidney stones better be violent and painful." I'm with it. I feel like a lot of this is going to be some good, good shit. I think this is going to be a lot of good stage. Sorry, uh, someone just tried to call me. Boom. Yeah, he called it. <laughs> on, on called it too so this yeah just the, i don't know but where yeah. you guys left me but just the length that darby's been there and the thought that's put into this and the commercials already and all that it's like the thought that goes into these things by ouija and kev and uh darby and uh dj chunk man it's just so amazing how they're like keeping that storytelling thing alive that we were used to from like first six and all of our jokers cards it's like this is amazing everybody fell in love with yeah the lore behind the drops um wow where was i going um i think this is going to be a uh a fire ass album with a lot of good music that they can play together on stage and like yeah all of Ouija's collab albums so far, every single one of them have been fucking top tier. Every single one of them. And then you got Darby coming in with his fucking fire, and them two together are just going to be like... And it's a full album, bro. I'm excited. I'm hella excited. Yeah, for real, man. Yeah. It's going uh, to... I, I don't even... Dude, just you talking about it was just like, God, fuck, man. You got me all like... <laughs> workshopping in my head now trying to piece it together the but yeah man shits, like man. some That's of these the... fucking titles though like you were saying like need to kill somebody obviously is pretty you know <laughs> That's like a crowd normal killing title right, right yeah yeah but then you know like you got fucking jorka holio holio or whatever the fuck that is jerka holio jaka Raleo. you know what i mean death of a summer that one's probably gonna be fire. I'm gonna call that right now. Death of a summer is gonna be fire. But yeah, looking forward to it. Remember that little flyer that was going around too? Yeah, while that was Onstead, so awesome. While Onstead talking, they just started popping up on tables. It was and just was like dink, 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 dink. I was looking for a transition into that because this album was hand this album was hinted at at Juggalo Weekend. So uh yeah, as a man the, uh, as the guy being there, yeah, fucking speak on that shit, dog. Ooh, actually I kinda take that back because this monologue uh I don't know what the I think it's digital horror, is that what, what it's called? Like the the kind of like artwork kind of shit. The flash the, the flash art, yeah. Yeah, is that what that the, shit's called? The shock the shock, yeah, the shock. Flash because shock artwork, yeah. Realistically, we can That's say that this album's about. kind of been hinted at since Juggalo Ohio, too. If really, because that's you the, guys remember the backgrounds of the fucking yeah, that's sets. What I really it. thought you were going with this is because, like, yeah, yeah I recorded saying. a lot of that stuff. I wish I knew where I, I recorded just the screen for a lot of the show because yeah, I was like, this so has dope. to mean something. These guys do too much to not have to mean something what's on the screen. It was, I was like, it was talking about experiments happening and the side effects and all this yeah. crazy shit. And I'm pretty sure it's talked about like mushroom treatment and shit and like, bro, 
I'm not gonna front. I sat there during that 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 whole shit. Like I was I was hype and I was getting hype and shit. But I just kept remember like I wasn't even watching Ouija. Like to to be honest, I was watching that fucking background half of the fucking time, man. Because it was just so like what what is? I was like a fucking moth to to the fucking light, dog. That shit was fresh. Yes, it was right. so awesome. And, yeah, and like yeah, you I... said, man, it hints on that old school lore type shit. But then we really got it with this motherfucking flyer that came out. Like, I remember, Jay Herm, you sent me a picture of this. And I, like, I had to sit there. I was like, what the fuck is this? And then it hit me. I was like, holy shit. Uh, once I seen the phone number, dude, I was like, this is some scroll keeper shit. <laughs> you, guys were about, you guys were about to go live. That was the first night of Juggalo Weekend. And I found it. And I was like, took a picture yeah. and sent it to you real quick. I was like, start talking about this. <laughs> I, I honestly think when we pulled it up on screen, there was not a lot of people that knew what the fuck we were talking about either. They were probably just as lost as I was when I was first yeah. like, reading it. I'm, but I'm yeah. Always... And even those shirts that... Ouija put out where his face was elongated was kind of like yeah. a smaller hint, even though those that picture has wow, been out for yeah. a little while. Yeah. But that's still kind of that elongated face that you're seeing on all the people that are turned around in the video. And just think about this, boys, too. Like this uh, right you... here on that flyer. I'm pretty sure. The fuck I lost it. This guy right here. I'm pretty sure that's that Ouija face. If you look really closely, it looks like the fucking Ouija face from uh fucking what was it uh Stalewind? Or is it Corruptus? The last yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, yeah, you might be right. Um. Also, uh, point a point to this. You know, Jay kind of touched on it earlier. If like they're they're doing all of this just for the teasers and these little commercials that we got already, I'm fucking super geeked for this first video that we're gonna get for that album because that means that there's gonna be even more like secret fucking shit inside of it like i i can't do the scroll keeper so shout out fucking jiggy for like doing that shit balls to the wall style because they're over there killing that shit so if you guys want to yeah. want to pay attention to that we called the... shit go to go to jiggy and watch that shit on muj because they fucking kill it over there with it i'm like i said earlier forgot my helmet every day and i Got too much stuff going on to to try to fuck with that. We called the shit. phone number on it. We did call the phone number on that. We stream, did, but I think yes. that's about as far as we got. Probably about right. as far as we're gonna get. I know even Jay, you fucking with the scroll keepers. You're like, bro, let me help you with it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like like long that long ago, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it, and I just never got around to it. Uh, new free orders and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you were at uh Juggalo weekend, as we said. I keep wanting yeah. I have to like separate my in my head from Juggalo Day, Day Columbus right. <laughs> from yeah. Juggalo Weekend. Um, but yeah, yeah you were Juggalo there, Weekend was so dope, man. Like like I said, I got the weed from Wacko, the cotton candy, and he went on stage and that boy was hyped. I mean, yeah. he jumped into the crowd. He had like this nice ass suit on. He was like, fuck it. I'm getting in the crowd. He jumped in the crowd. He was he was like moshing, rapping with people. It was like a Percy Bone set. <laughs> oh, no shit. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. It was pretty cool. Um, and then that first jukebox night was pretty awesome. Uh, got to get on stage and do Fago Armageddon. It was pretty sweet. Pretty awesome show. And then... Um, Ouija was awesome that night, man. He tore it off tore the roof off the place man like he said he was going to for the clowns though so. and it was pretty awesome it was a good show he did put on a great show um and it was kind of simple it was just him and chunk on stage there was no backgrounds no nothing like that it was just back like old school like him just sitting up there rapping it was pretty awesome um jukebox that was awesome they came out in their white suits. they came out in their white suits and stuff like that and then all of a sudden they were just down into their whatever and fago was flying man it was pretty awesome it was a great show did they um, perform mr white suit in their white no. suit no damn it that, i knew I think the that, answer but i, I wanted think, to ask it anyways i think that's one we might get eventually on a jukebox set down the line maybe someday probably not but I hope like so. 
you can always hope. I, I could see that at a uh, that would have been a fucking killer song for them to throw on at the Gathering of Dreams, in my opinion. Yeah, they also did a jukebox. Yeah, and that one was dope for too. that one. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was mm-hmm. almost like the same set. Uh, yeah, that's why. Yeah, everything was kind of the same. The stuff was hanging from the ceilings, question mark, stuff like that, and everything. So yeah, it was pretty. It was a fresh uh, pretty dope. It was fresh at the gathering, man. Yeah, it was for real. Yeah, and they are doing something with JCW that I. They're going back to the old school days, man. They had boom cams all over the place. They had they had a guy flying a drone in there. They had like some other stuff. Like I seen him flying it at the beginning. I don't know if he actually flew oh, nice. the show, but and then they had camera guys everywhere, and I think they're really going into possibly getting back into the old jcw stuff to show some stuff off well i think that's pretty fresh because that's another revenue and another avenue that they can uh so proceed to go down with like i think they're also putting their foot on the gas at that maybe because they also probably had the lunacy lined up and was ready to go yeah so they figured they could go if they started here it'll proceed out so like i was gonna say that and then also i think maybe it's more of Violent J getting back into that passion, especially oh, with... Oh, 1,000%. After he just got I mean, back from Japan, for Japan, sure. you know, promoting, uh, what the fuck's their names? The, uh, the man- managing fucking, uh, the two uh, pounds. The, uh, Brothers of Fun, Fun Structure. Yeah, oh, Brothers, Brothers of Fun yeah. Structure. Yeah, exactly. With all that that he's doing, I'm sure he just re- reignited the passion. Now he wants to push that hard again. Yep. And like you said, I bet well, you the- hit that flame up okay. was that trip to japan but go yep. go ahead yeah oh yeah that the the vibe that i got in the arena was they were always saying hey take your pictures send, send them on instagram and stuff like that and like they're promoting this so i think they're just yeah. trying to build it up let's make the oh, next yeah. aew let's like we get all those guys to come wrestle for us so let's make a big wrestling Bubba league. ray it. bro Bubba Ray, I'm geeked yeah. about that. That's tough, man. That's a that's a childhood mm-hmm. hero right there. Mm-hmm. I used to be Devon Dudley in fucking 3D and my little brother through fucking on the bed type <laughs> shit, man. Let's fuck around. Uh, yeah, I want to go back to the uh, JCW here in a minute, but I want to rewind a little bit because how fresh was it for you to get to see Percy again at Juggle Ohio 2? Um, absolutely amazing. Nice. Yeah, obviously, it, I, everybody knows me and you are the one. We went to fucking England, and we met him there, and so, like, now we get to see him come to fucking... For me, it was like, not only did we get, he get to come to the United States, but he got to come to the fucking Midwest. He got to come to Juggalo Mecca, you know what I mean? And he got to go to a killer fucking show and yeah. be a fucking opener in that bitch? Man. Yes. Right, exactly. And it, it, it felt like a dream because when we were over there, it was like, man, it's such short a time. It felt like a dream. Like we were there. And then all of a sudden to see him come up and give me a hug, it was like, oh my gosh. It was like, we're right. waking up from this dream and we're back in it. And here he is again, but we're in the United States. That's fresh. That's dope as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty awesome. It was pretty amazing. Right. Did and he, then he got, to, he... he got to be around for the, uh, the Super 17. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was he there? <laughs> so well, blew, he, I, blow blow the minds of the Europeans. Like, what is going on in America? That, yeah. like, this is America. <gasps> <laughs> this this dude, man. He uh. So obviously, he wanted to shoot guns while he was over that here. That video was fire. He he went out and he did it. And then the funny part was he he obviously he wanted to take the the casings with him. And back home with him and he was so worried about the security at the venue like <laughs> tripping over the case the empty casings of these fucking bullets because over there it's like you know what i mean like it's a yeah. thing like you know yeah. what i mean like even ammunition is probably regulated and fucking kept track of oh, for sure. nobody needs it nobody you know why you even need it blah 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 mm-hmm. yeah Real yeah, quick, yeah. while we got this little break in between our talk, uh, Mr. MP23 is 
fairly new to the channel and to the yeah, family exactly, in general. Right. He's asking for recommendations on tracks to listen listen to. So everybody fucking throw some shit in the chat for right. this man to listen to. If MP, you want, sir, take right. notes, my guy, because there will be a lot of fucking classics in here along yeah. with along with Ouija and fucking Let this Darby. man down here suggest yeah. some shit for you because... Well, if you got some bass in your car, throw on that humdrum boogie from the 10th. 17 years 17 um, years old hell yeah yep yeah uh, um man just back in the day any carnival or carnage you want to put that while riding around in the car it's just off the hook just that yeah, old exactly. school beat in the car um chilling around i i'm i'm a sound guy now man i got a lot of things going on and things happening so i mean anything from okay to the world is yours i mean life Life is good so far, so I'm just trying to push that kind of message out. My and personal, go ahead, go ahead. My personal favorites were the ones about finding home or coming home. You know, like coming home. Fucking, uh, yeah, damn it. Uh, what's the one off of Riddle Box? I'm coming home. Oh yeah, that is. I'm, I'm coming, coming home, home. Okay, to shit. the creatures. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad. Um, <laughs> Juggalo <laughs> Paradise from Bazaar. <laughs> yeah, right. Just any yeah. of those. Yeah, yeah. Fucking uh, We Belong, uh, Shangri La. Homies, yeah, all of, them, of course. Yep. If you're really vibing with the community, dog, and you've really liked what you've listened to so, so far, my honest opinion would it just be start at the beginning and like play through because you're like you'll see the not only will you see the evolution in the clowns themselves but you will also get the messages individually from each joker card at a separate time so like you can just that's where you will find all of your best stuff man in my speaking whole which, humble man, honest opinion speaking of which to try this bro i have like literally it took me a minute and everybody else, I know, I know you in particular, on said you were playing it nonstop when it first came out. And you know, I play, I played, you know, like breathing and sacrifice a little bit. It's you know, what I mean, I, I, I would play that song, you know, on, you know, it would come on my fucking playlist. But then, yeah, last week, bro, it hit me, and then I just started playing the whole album over and over and over again. And yeah, dude, it just every talking, everything will speak to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, all right, God damn it. Do I need to Dude, I am not good with time. It's God, still it's, fucking three months, six months ago time. for me. So it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a very strong album, man. And I got, uh, yeah, no, nah, it really is. I like it. I don't know why I like it so much. I think I like it so much is because it's not, it's not him rapping like normal fucking normal Ouija, you know, like yeah. it shows his range in this album. And I, like even from just the, the 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 hums the hum tracks i don't know what they would be called from the hymns up to like fucking um nicorette nicorette is hands down my fucking my... is top top three ouija songs ever and like i'm an old head oh, when it comes shit. to ouija so like it's top fucking tier man i'll be singing I feel <laughs> in the car all fucking day i don't give a fuck <laughs> My go to my go to is the wingless bones. That has been the one that I fucking I was like, God damn, the song that that's the one that I heard that made me go back and listen to the whole fucking album in order and it was like really get and really spoke to me then. It finally I was like, damn. Fuck yeah. What about you, Jay? Right. You like Corruptus? You feeling it? I love like Feeling the energy from the islands and stuff like that. Just knowing that he's doing like the hymns and like stuff like that. Knowing that energies and sounds do really uplift people. I just love all that about it. That's just like the forethought. Because I really think he's thinking about that kind of stuff. Because I'm sure like coming to Hawaii, he, I guess he, he was out here. He was on Big Island and I'm sure he felt that energy from this island or i'm sure he felt that kind of stuff and like knowing that like he's already putting this into his music without even living here or being here because all that stuff was made before he came out to hawaii so like like 
being pushed out now, but like it's nice to know that like he already has that vibe towards him and knowing yeah. how to put out that music with those type of beats and stuff like that that actually uplift people and make people happy. It's not, it's not like bringing you down. It's not the like positive, something like that. The positive frequencies of uh, hymns and like they're we've been getting on like real like fucking like not i don't want to say it's conspiracy theories but like we've been getting on that lately and like it's vibrational vibrational frequencies are a real fucking thing and low vibration oh, yeah. low, low vibrational frequencies are very ha- harmful to you but but the higher ones are really good for you so like he 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 feels that shit you can tell you can you can you can see that he believes in that shit too and it's dope I'm in it. Yeah, absolutely. I gotta grab my juice, boys. I'll be right back. All right. Sounds good. So, yeah. so I'll go on a little bit if you want. Um, because that was yeah, only man. night one of Juggalo Weekend. So <laughs> Yeah, right. I was gonna say let's go back. Um, yeah, so um night two um was just as awesome. You got to see Lazy Bone, which I yeah. will say that me that meme with Lazy Bone as uh Beavis or Bud uh is kind of like right there spot on (laughs) but it was funny he was just like walking around the stage being all kind of weird i mean with his champagne glass just walking around and they finally got him off stage and stuff but that was pretty wild to see that happen yeah that was pretty wild to see that happen because i've never seen anybody walk on stage during a clown set like that like he literally just walked on stage in the middle of the set and just started hugging shaggy and i was like what is going on here? Did he get, right, I was like, like, there's no way they asked him to come out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit, right? Yeah, I doubt that, man. But at the same but, time, uh, it's fucking lazy bone. Like, so what the fuck are you going to do? Like, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> but uh, that was pretty cool. But person. um, they uh, did the whole Wicked Wonka. And I was there for the first Wicked Wonka. Oh yeah, because I've been down since all that back then. So it's like that show was amazing. And I talked to the man that set up the stage, and he was like, "I looked at so much like grainy footage to make that stage." He was like, "It would." He tried to make it exactly the way it was from before, and he did an Bro. amazing job. It looked okay, so dope. It was he pretty said, dope. He said the next time it's gonna be a lot easier because all the fucking footage is gonna be there a lot more a lot more decent yeah but it was i i give them props man that thing was so so awesome so we got uh uh speaking on the nights uh you got a little footage here that uh i think Alicia yeah i was gonna go down. back to jcw yeah so we, uh, yeah i know uh some of the footage you sent me from that night man uh this was some of it and i had to say man i like i got like 10 seconds into this video and i was like yeah we definitely gotta play this shit because it it's pretty brutal i'm excited for lunacy man i'm excited for what they're gonna do it's gonna be awesome right. i'm an old jcw fan man so i, I i'm excited Hold see on, I, I mean what kind of kind of says i miss y'all i hate feeling so alone but i'm all right what you mean connor you ain't alone right we're never alone, pimp. We'll never die alone either. You know what I mean? E much con love. Right love back you, to you, homie. Sorry. But roll that beautiful bean footage that we got. Yeah, let's pull it Because up. it's yeah, pretty gruesome. This shit. this shit will make you feel better, Connor. I promise. Sadistic evil and perfect for This is the main event from uh, that JCW event. Fuck. A south of the border breakdown with the light tube. Mm. South of the border breakdown. <laughs> what a fucking name. <laughs> oh. 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 Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. This is such good footage. Okay? <laughs> this is such good footage. <laughs> They always be getting goat footage, man, I swear. Yeah, and to have Madman Pondo there was so awesome, man. He's taking it into a scalp. He's trying to lobotomize him with scissors. 
Look at that. Absolutely. Just a bunch of scissors taped to a fucking club. Yep. Another light too. Another light. Oh my god. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh man. Don't tell me. Don't ever tell me wrestling's fake when people are taking yeah. light tubes to the face. <laughs> And keyboards. <laughs> that's the damage right there. All right, look at this. Oh, tell me that. Still tell me that didn't hurt a little bit. I just hope it wasn't a mechanical keyboard. Oh, that right. Reminds me of the movie Wanted when that guy's that lady in the face of the keyboard. And all the fucking letters just go. Stapler in hand. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. But, oh, but, but, tell me this don't fucking hurt. No, no, a staple to your tailbone. I mean, it, it probably went to his pants. The whole match. But. Fuck. He said it was there the whole match. <laughs> yeah, he got a poop dollar hanging out. Kiss him! Kiss him! <laughs> oh. Grab his dick and twist. Pop that pussy! Yeah. <laughs> Is that Stony? Okay. Setting up a structure of evil intent. Take us. Yes. A structure of evil intent. <laughs> it's a chair. This announcer is fucking on fire, <laughs> dog. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. <laughs> so fuck that light, dude. I want this one. Yeah. Oh. Damn. Final cut. Yeah, he yeah. is. My, my, my brother was telling me, like, oh, yeah, I don't think he's going to go. Oh, not three of them. Yeah. Pondo Con- Pondo better reverse this shit. If not, it's fake. Yeah, well, we will never know. Oh, oh, what a, what a fucking have cliffhanger. Stay tuned if they put out JCW. What a cliffhanger! Holy uh, shit. We do got more JCW videos, Damn. but I feel I, like I, I feel like I it was takes just for, edged. You guys, look, I'm not look. gonna lie. Jay Herm's video is so high definition; it takes forever to goddamn optimize. <laughs> I feel like I was just uh, edged and got like to right where I was about yeah. to nut, and then you were like, "Oh, oh, that's the free trial. You're done." Yeah, he got he goes. <laughs> <laughs> he covers your eyes and everything. He goes, nope. <laughs> Damn, son. That's uh, that was good, though. though. That was a good yeah. fucking night. That's what I'm saying, dude. I could actually, well, I can actually get into that. No, that's some fucking wrestling. Unlike, you know, being, that's kind of like what I remember what wrestling used to be like, or at least in my the eyes. The attitude era. Like yeah. back in the day, yeah. Cause I was, I mean, I watched it back, yeah, in the early '90s and shit. I was fucking a huge fan of Sting and the Wolfpack and fucking the Brood. Yeah, you know what I mean. Sting just retired, by the way. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say R.I.P., but you know, that's not that's not right. That's too soon. (laughs) He's not dead yet. He's just retired. No. (laughs) <laughs> just retired. Damn, almost hit him with the R.I.P. Yeah, man. I mean, but it, it, that's what it feels like for me. You know what I mean? Because like that was my wrestler of that for fucking sure. that, oh, that that era. Oh, for real? But you think Steve of yeah. you think of you think of hardcore though. You think of ECW and New Jack and yeah, just now, incredible right? like, and RVD. <laughs> it's not on RVD though. Uh, during that time, my my people were um, fucking uh, Kevin Nash, uh, pretty much NWO man. I'm not gonna front. Yeah, NWO. yeah. NWO right. was goaded. Can't say nothing. 
See, I don't yeah, know, man. You were I was watching wrestling like back then. Yeah. And like it was. Yeah, like, if you were watching was... wrestling back then, you were watching NWO or mm-hmm. Wolfpack, yep. White and Black, Red and Black, and Always yeah. Feuding, all that uh, WCW gen- stuff. Generation and... X. I was just gonna say yep. uh, WCW. I was a fan of of WCW uh, when they went to a, when they did the war type shit. I was always yeah. watching both of them. I'm not going front. But yeah, Charlie, we were... uh, the hat came from fucking Juggle, Ohio. The first one, one. right? Yeah, the first yep. one. Yep. You're not gonna find them bitches anywhere. You might be able to find them on the museum, maybe, or uh, Chapter Seventeen, the merch museum for. For Ouija and them, but yeah, uh, might be a little oh, out of no. order, but uh, Booker T too. He was a uh, he was a good wrestler. He wrestled back in the day. And Booker T's we've seen him there, recently. Yeah, yeah. Yep. we kind of seen him recently. Uh, oh, has yeah. that dropped yet, or is that dropping soon? I think it already dropped. I thought it dropped Did a couple it? weeks ago. I thought it dropped a little while ago. I'm yeah. not I'm not the biggest wrestling guy, so I don't know about that one. But yes, uh good transition. Violent J was recently on a wrestling podcast with Booker T and another guy talking about their career uh in the W uh WWF and, and all that shit. And um there's a couple podcasts that actually recently happened. We got, you know, the fucking um Boule Kev one that happened with both right. of them. We got your mom's house, which was so fucking dope with both of them. So dope. I was dying the whole fucking time, man. <laughs> it was like, so oh hilarious. my god! And like I'm a like I was saying before, I'm a YMH fan, so like I was fucking crying because I knew all the you know all the inside jokes and shit too. So like yep. it's just making it even more funny. Uh, then they the did TikToks and everything and doing all yeah, those exactly. things, just <laughs> grossing people out. I love that. Steve Shaq cringe a little bit on a couple things. <laughs> we almost threw up when the dude was eating um himself. Yeah, that shit was had me dead. Yeah. Man. Uh they also did um one I wasn't too happy about and like I was watching it and I kept yeah. talking I in our up. group. Listen, I kept all right, I'm gonna say it first. Whack the the Adam and Whack show that the clowns were just recently on was that exactly it. This is all my hot take opinion and I don't care who I piss off, but I thought it was kind of stale because whack, like I know whack is a big deal, man. Like he's a big deal in, in the mainstream artist industry and all that shit. But it felt like whack kind of disrespected the clowns in a way because like, see, I know where you're coming from, right? And because and it's not just because you've already said it in the fucking our group chat and shit, but I get it, bro. Because like he came completely unprepared. He no, he said that he did a little bit of research, and he said that all he did was uh look at the Spotify. He said, "I looked at y'all Spotify. Y'all doing numbers. Y'all doing numbers." And like <laughs> that's about that's, it. that's completely unprepared <laughs> it, when it comes to fucking trying to understand our whole culture complex culture yeah like no nah, bro you can't just like listen to the music because that's the only fucking half of it dog 100%. i shut it off about a third of the way into it because as soon as the clowns became uninterested in the whole thing i was yeah. like it seemed like they came, became uninterested because he was just being whatever he does i'm sure that's what he does because i've never seen him do his but it's just like it was really weird and it was a uh, different than a no jumper interview you know I thought, listen, I 100% think that if Old Boy wasn't there, then like it would have been a great interview because when Adam interviewed uh, Jay by himself, he did a fan, he yeah. did, they did a great job. And then when they came on together, Adam did a great job and was like painted up and everything. He had his questions prepared and he had pretty good questions where you could tell like he actually did some research and like came with those questions. But like when, when Wack was kind of like, yeah. Uh, what really got me was when he was like, yeah, you guys should work with Tech 9 And Jay and Shaggy kind of looked at each other and was like, yeah, we, we, we did. And he was like, yeah, I'm real cool with him. I'll, I'll, I'll hook you guys up. And I was like, what the fuck? Okay, this is cool. But I sat and I listened to the whole thing and like they wrapped it up on good terms. It was a good, it, it was, it was, it was enlightening. Uh, and then, um, is that the last one? No, the there's more enlightening. No, the enlightening. We just found out that Joe is wanting to be a comedian. 
Yes, yeah. that's a good one too. Uh, yeah, fucking, so... he did two minutes on fucking Kill Tony on Kill Tony, you guys, which is a big fucking platform for comedians. Yeah, right. Like oh, it's shit. the it's biggest. Not... It's the one biggest. Of, yeah. It, yeah. For its type, Kill Tony is the biggest like platform in the in the stand up comedian genre right now. All right. Yeah. So like for him to go out there grab his nuts up and do two minutes or some shit out there in front of everybody and the millions of people that watch kill tony every day he did a great job and what do you expect he's not a comedian but i was laughing i was laughing i thought it was funny he said he got pearly baby skin underneath that paint yeah i, know. I did see that clip <laughs> I was that's one of the, the clips i fucking seen i was like what the fuck bro <laughs> <laughs> he's like of course i look cute yeah, but they all had good things to say about him too, which was pretty awesome. Like they, yeah. they were, they were happy with him just coming out because he did it last second. They literally told him, "Hey, we learned that on the other on your mom's house was they put Joe out there, and he thought he was going to be on the show, um, being on a panel because even right. uh, Joe, even Joe was like Shaggy was like, hey man, um." I thought he, I didn't know he was going to do comedy because guests don't ever do comedy like that. Like it's, it was right. pretty awesome for him to be able to do that. So that was like one of the first times they ever let anybody do something like that. So that was pretty cool. Yep. Man, I say, let's see, we're about 52 minutes right now. You think we should drop the link you want in to? the chat, open it up? Just talked Open about uh, he Jay said panel and it just made me like man he just, is it that time? Let's open it up. While you're opening like, that up, I'm gonna uh, bring my phone outside and I'm gonna give a little yeah. view of what uh what's going on over here where I'm at. That Maui life, right? So right, yeah, everybody. let's talk about that a little bit too. Uh, uh, so yeah, the before, link is in the on. chat. Yep. Before you before we start talking about uh, Maui J. Maui. Yep. Link is in the chat for everybody who doesn't know how to work how this works. Is all you gotta do is click on the motherfucker. You make a quick account, set your phone up, preferably throw some headphones in because it makes it easier and there's no feedback on us. And then pull up yep. on us and we'll talk about some shits. Yeah. Don't don't be. Uh, okay. So we gotta set up yeah, some rules. kind of rules. No sex toys. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> sorry, Bill. Um, <laughs> no cocaine use yep. on air. Ketamine's okay. No, uh, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, don't don't get us fucking kicked off YouTube. That's all yeah, we ask. Pull up on us and chill. I don't want to have to private this fucking video. But right, look at this, this beautiful Maui view. Look at that shit. While we're yeah, all sitting so, here freezing dicks off. So yeah, where you hey, were at? Hey, I you was you there the in? last month. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. Okay, but so then your then here... your ass went to fucking New Mexico. <laughs> here on Maui, uh, I know I've told some people what we do out here, just in person and things. But um, I work with an organization that's called HHH Hungry Heroes Hawaii. And since the pandemic, beginning of the pandemic, we've been working on feeding the homeless. Um, and up until, um, as you guys have all heard, there has been some fires on Maui and they've taken down some uh, houses and things out here. Um, and there's about 11,000 displaced fire victims. So uh, rewind back to where I was um, with the um, Hunger Heroes Hawaii is we did uh, over 250,000 meals out of our pocket, all donation, and all from the farms on the, on the island um, so that they could help us feed the homeless out here. And we just kept going, and then all of a sudden the fires happened, and our meals went from 250,000 to 300,000 to just about 800,000 meals because we've been feeding the displaced fire victims. Um, before I left back to Michigan to go to Juggalo Weekend, um, we built these tents for some of our friends and workers and displaced people to live in. And uh, yeah, we just worked on several farms and twice a week in those military trucks that I showed you, we have three of them. And we deliver $10,000 worth of food 
every Wednesday and ten thousand dollars worth of food every Saturday to the displaced fire victims. Um, and then we're also working on some housing issues and things like that right now. But we're just waiting on things to happen with uh, county, state, and other uh, regulators and working on things for people out here. But yeah, so that's what uh, I kind of do out here in Maui is uh, do some kind of philanthropy stuff and things like that. Um, yeah. yeah. Right. It was, it was, it's, it's good to see for one, uh, good to see that y'all, you know, everybody over there is pulling it back together and trying to get back to a normal after that. Cause I know that shit was crazy, man. There's a lot of conspiracy oh, yeah. theories about it and everything that we yeah. could go into. And yeah, but oh, yeah. it's good, bro. Um, I, I let always everybody knew, know. I knew you were going to go back there. I knew you would go back after. <laughs> yeah. Well, I would, I actually got to go see my house and my house was almost dead center of the fire. Um, where I lived, yeah. um, was dead center of the fire. So I had to, um, go and see that. And it was very eye opening to see, everything because it literally looked like a war zone it, it was very devastating to see it's the place that i live i have am living here this is my ninth year living on the island so it's uh we see in fires all the time but we never seen them came come through the town so it's it's very devastating for a lot of us here because we were all family and it was like we at the gathering is kind of the same thing like you walk around the town and everyone's got the aloha and it's more like everyone's got the whoop whoop it's like everyone's got the like you're going around and you're standing around talking to people for five ten minutes talking to hear their story and hugging them as you're leaving and things like that it's like it's just it's that that same kind of feeling that you get at the gathering um yeah and and it's hard for anyone to get back to that right now because they're just kind of everyone's still displaced so right um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I think uh, I was just listening to Rogan, and yeah, he they actually mentioned something like that too about uh, how like everybody in LA was like super friendly after all the fires and shit because like it was almost like oh fuck we are we could have been dead and you know I mean everybody was saying mm-hmm. hello and shit to each other but I'm sure <laughs> unlike LA Hawaii might you know I mean stay that way well, they're not gonna go back to being assholes also during like, the off season <laughs> when like tourists aren't there it's also it's got to be like that small town community type shit right like yeah almost everybody um, knows well, who you are there's 30 to sixty thousand tourists in the island every single day uh because this is because it doesn't really get cold so there's that many he said, people. He said so every yes, day just like just just, season, right. just like yeah just <laughs> like but just like you said you know the people that you see every day from the people that are there as tourists. Exactly what you were saying, on said. That's exactly right. All right. Locals. We did have. Man, we had somebody. We we did have somebody backstage. There oh, he is. Here he's coming back up. He's back. Now this is a man by are many names. Yeah, he's you a good? man by many names. Mr. Man, you ready backstage. Back there? Give me a thumbs Mr. up Big if you're good Nip. to go. Yeah, right, yeah. There we go. All so right. yeah, this man has many names. One of them is Big Nip or Big Nip. <laughs> the other one as in chat is Charlie <laughs> Williams. But my personal favorite, Jathan names. Boom. Pull him up. Boom, man. Got him. Hey. Boom. Yo, what up, what's up guys? Officer Stoney pulled what this up, man off a stage and his in his silver paint. All fucked up. That was the hot one of the highlights of that fucking night. That shit was so but fucking look, silly. Look, this man, this man's heart is so big that even after being thrown off the stage, he still let that man sleep on his couch. Facts. Yes, that's my boy. Well, I think the story what happened was uh, the Columbus Police Department were kind of salty at the way that he came out on stage and and uh jathan was like you know what fuck fuck 12 i got you big homie since you know yeah. that's what it is i think i think he was a sleeper agent anyways and it just like we fed him enough drugs to counteract it kept his fucking... head filled with nitrous <laughs> that he became the homie yeah he became stony. That... 
that was a good night. That was spur of the moment. Yeah, that but, shit was fun. So right now you're wearing that Darby O'Trill shirt. That's, That's the right. only shirt that I got that I did. I chose to wear this one tonight instead of that one, but that shirt is still fucking dope. Yeah, that shirt got, is hard, man. I got that mushroom boy too. Yeah, we both I got love the that same motherfucker. Set shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, so I do I'm too. About I'm about to get that motherfucker. Hopefully, it's not sold out by the time I get back to work because I want that bitch bad, and that's one of my go-to's. Yeah, elixir. That I'm on the hunt for that hat now. I gotta have yeah. it. <laughs> Bro, Check out the I museum, wore, dog. Oh, dude, that I've would probably this be thing religiously since since that first struggle, Ohio. Yes. Legit. I think it's been to every event that we've done, gone to together. That's yeah. what's up. Hey, yeah, dude. It's crazy. So, uh, just yeah, chilling. Yeah, did you get to meet uh Jay Herm at Juggle Ohio too? I didn't go to Juggle Ohio too. I had to oh, work. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, I'm thinking. Yeah, all right. You went to we we you went to the fucking um JJ. Juggle Day. Yeah, Juggle Day. Juggle Day. Week. Juggle Columbus. Day with Clockwork E. Yep, Columbus. Yeah, this oh, is that my for you, man. Great we backstage. Dude. This motherfucker helped set up. He helped set up that show. Well, I think nice. you know the the performance of the, of Jathan Names, and then that awesome, beautiful, wonderful performance you put on in the, in a Juggalo Penis video, kind of like dude. Is, you, I'm telling you, know? you, dude. This is a man that I I keep on giving. <laughs> He is a man that keeps on giving. My panties got wet the way you were cleaning that goddamn fucking truck in that video. I'm not going to I don't even wear panties, dog. Let's say that. Bro, well, yeah. play that video. Play I'm video. super proud. Play I'm that. super proud of that video. Let me get it lined up. Yeah. While he's pulling that up, man. Yeah, dude. Like, that, that video was amazing. You uh, allegedly, allegedly dented somebody's hood. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. allegedly. <laughs> and she didn't give a shit say. either. Yeah, I'm not gonna say who's hood. Rest in peace right. to that car, though, because it is gone now forever. But it, it is. does live on in that music video. Forever. This music Which is video. Awesome. This music video, as J, as Violent J would say, went juggle viral. Uh, if you will. Oh, look, look, we just got the tea that he is wearing his... She, that man, uh, not wife, that man right? filled them bitches right? out. Let me tell you that. <laughs> but yes, it was your, it was your, it was your significant other's clothing. Yes. Come on down to the clock wash. The only juggalo owned an operated car wash. These juggalos are wet and ready to get down. Call us at 808 God, it was so cold that day. That's 808 Dude, it, yeah, it, <laughs> What month was that recorded? Like October? That's, funny. That's a Hawaii number. 808 is a Hawaii number. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, I know this because Jay Herm just called me earlier. <laughs> Wait, Jay, is that your number? Did we just dox you? <laughs> <laughs> Call that number to get a hold of Jay Herm. <laughs> For a good time. These call guys right Jay here Herm. are doing their thing in the underground, man. I love these guys, Listen. man. They're so awesome. Yeah, Look. they are. They're good dudes. Yeah, they are. They're really great dudes. And check this out. They deserve this with this song. 109,000 fucking views. Great we got 100,000. 100,000 on Juggalo Day. So fucking go, nice. man. That's so tough to see. That's because we love them. Exactly, and I can guarantee you probably two to three to four thousand of them songs, song replays are mine. Not going for it. Yeah. <laughs> Said I brushed my teeth to it. Have you ever been fucked dug out by a murderous clown? Yeah, my juggle of penis. Wait till you see it. Look at this oh. go. Look at him. Ass up, face down, pound town, straight, gobble me down. Yeah, my juggle of Fucking look back. Everybody that I meet, it's like, where did you get the look back at? 90s back <laughs> video. Oh, really? Yeah, because you, you got the girl that's always on the on the hood and she looks back. Right? Right? 
Boom, fat, fat on your ass like you want me to With this psychopathic, I create magic Big silver smashing, I'm super massive I stab your badge and love hand to grab And that sexual passion in a jungle Shout out fashion. to whoever no bought those Moon piss, shirts In the book <laughs> I got the Juggalo penis sticker on my car. Yeah, you do. I thought I knew where you lived at. I have, to, up, I, I, have like, to, I have to back it into my job. They want me to take it off, so I told him to fuck off. That's awesome. Tell him to suck on this Juggalo penis. Right. And everybody in this video got a good part, like Thurgood's little finger thing. And yeah, everybody, everybody got a good. <laughs> I'm assuming that the, 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 the incident might have occurred. <laughs> and that whole part of recording in the car, that was my idea. Yeah. Getting that, uh, that right, right there. there. Yeah. <laughs> right Get there. That belly work. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Congrats to those guys, man. Those guys are doing super awesome. I love We that. got look who's backstage. This is fucking yeah, goaded right one. here. Oh, this is cool. Oh, hopefully his camera said he's out. Are you good? Nope, he's frozen. Yeah, he's frozen, but wait. I'm excited for that one too, we man. This is good. This is a good night. This is a good Friday night. I still got clockwork E going in my background. I got space I know, going. right? East. Yeah. Always yeah, I love when that happens, man. Always good with the Tuggalo show. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Glad Charlie, you could join us, man. I always forget to look at my messages during show. You'll never really see me look at my show. Or look at my phone during the show. Now you always hit me up during the show when we're talking about it. Show your fucking tattoo, dog. We always yes, miss the yes. opportunity to talk to the talk about this motherfucker. This look at this Brian Red. Fucking wow. hard dog. That is dope. Fucking hard. Fucking Brian's a goat, dog. I don't give a fuck. Right. Brian's a goat at everything, man. That he is. And I'm the is only one. Hero? I am the only one to have the alien tattooed. Yep. Damn. That's a flex. Yeah. For I got now, so, I got, that world's I got a clock. I got a clockwork tattoo. Uh, clockwork E tattoo in the works. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say. I might say with who later. But when we it's my old boy, right? To that. Yeah. When we transition to it, we'll, say, we'll okay. talk about it. Heather said that. Heather yet. said you Brian did that in under thirty fucking minutes, bro. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Wow. We took. It Dude. took him less time to do this than it did to take the smoke break that we did. Dude's a fucking magician, man. I swear right. to God. That's amazing. Yeah, dude's a monster, bro. Connor, Earl, oh, shit, I... You good backstage? You exposed him. I exposed him. Fucking bullshit. You good backstage? You ready to go? He keeps jumping <laughs> in and out. We're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna try it. But, uh, Brother from another mother right here. OG the dial supporter. Up. I hear the dial up going. We're good. That's his that's his spectrum going crazy because you know that's the old one right there. Somebody's spectrum internet is going down right now, is what it is. Oh. Oh, I love that air. So guys, I'm smoking on this shit called Jar Jar Stinks, is what it's called. Yes. He said that earlier. Oh, wait, no, we were, no, grab the I wrong one. Heard was even like, what the fuck? <laughs> grab the wrong one. It's Grease Monkey, son of a bitch. Oh, some of that, uh, some of that super booth. Yeah. Oh. Super booth. How was that? Was that really good? 
Yeah, yeah, it's real good. I got good. I got the con from the dispensary. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I've got a bunch of super booth from the dispensary. It's always pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I got my med card, so I can get super booth is a one. For sure. There he is. What's up, Croner? It's good to see you, big dog. Miss your face. Can't Thanks, see you together. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna. Yeah. We're gonna oh, this year's been crazy. So I. I Y'all know me. I can't promise. Me. We're going to try. Always try. Never give Listen, up hope on the gathering. If I got to drive Ever. up there and get you. Connor, this year has just been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> please do. Please kidnap me. Um, right. If I tell the world that I can't make it and y'all kidnap me, I'm not going to fight. I'm not going to fight. You may have you to deal it? with yeah, you my girlfriend. I'm just kidding. She won't. <laughs> she Because if she doesn't want me to go. Uh, yeah, yeah, y'all may y'all can play tug of war with her. I'm just kidding. She's awesome. My girlfriend's awesome. I'm just an idiot. Uh, that's that's good uh, as consent. Well, it's because me and my girl we're trying to get. <laughs> uh oh, lost them again. You hear that grinder? I heard that grinder. That shit's sweet. <laughs> Who needs the oil? The grinder. Oh yeah. I'm you just know, gonna keep I'll, dropping yeah, the whole I'll, link in the chat the whole fucking night. So if you guys feel like jumping yeah, exactly. in here, jump in here. Pull up on us. We don't have no, to play for tonight. I got an electric grinder. Those are fresh. Those yeah, are awesome. fresh. I'll wait for him to start moving again. Boom, oh, he's right like, back in. As soon as I take him off the screen, he starts moving again. Yeah, sorry go. if my Wi-Fi sucks and I it, my Wi-Fi at my house sucks, so you're good, bro. No, you good. Uh, yeah, there we go. We we ended it up here. So how's your night, man? So I don't know, just dope ass streams and Yeah, well, what do you, you think about that JCW clip? Pretty fucking solid. Work was easy. Fucking amazing, dude. I love Pondo. Pondo is one of the fucking greatest, like, hardcore wrestlers. It's not the greatest. Like, him and Rude Boy were always, like, two of my, like, all-time favorites growing up as a kid. Uh, yep. I mean, the backyard wrestling games, dude, and all those old JCW videos, man, those were so much of my childhood. Like, <laughs> and very vital in me becoming a juggalo were like definitely that Shangri La family era, like the fucking early mid 2000s, 2002 to like 2005. Like, I remember those years being a little, little psych juggalo, man, with juggalos all up in my house fucking behind the paint on a bookshelf, dude. At, um, part of the childhood. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm, uh, after watching that clip, I'm starting to think that if I would have paid a little bit more attention to JCW after that air, like after I started growing out of wrestling, that I might not have ever grown out of it. I might have kept watching it. I extreme mean, extreme wrestling is different than like that mainstream wrestling was. And you're right about that. That JC Dub shit was just off the chain. Nothing you ever seen before. Oh, that show just, at St. Andrews Hall they had back then in, in that early 2000s, it was where they did the recording for it was so dope. That was, was so awesome. But like that was the goal for JC Dub was to be that shit that you can't see nowhere okay. else except for them crazy uh japanese videos that they like they used to talk about getting and redubbing themselves you know so like that's right. what, that was the ultimate goal and you they fucking hit it right on the head dude one of the one, one of those old school jc dubs was filmed in columbus ohio and there's like the whole crew when we were like 13 14 years old hell yeah, hell yeah. see like like kind of like elixir said you know like i kind of fell out of wrestling myself and then like uh maybe may, maybe if i would have like watched jc dub because i remember it always being a thing back in the day but i was like oh 
I never. I, I think once after WWE, once it turned over from WWF to WWE, I quit. Like, I quit. Quit fucking with it myself. And like, I think I was. I was out getting high with the homies at the at the time, and like never home at the time to catch wrestling on. So like, I was like, oh fuck. Oh, dude, it was a religious yeah. thing with me and my homies. I think I thought I, I think I did fall out around those fucking those same days. Those uh, I don't even know. I see. I can't even name any wrestlers. I, from bro, I think it was like right after like the Attitude Era ended and like all that new shit started coming in, and uh, I was just like, I can't, I can't get with this. After right. they stopped making the SmackDown like- versus Raw games, I was like, Yep, yeah, I'm done. I I got out of wrestling around the time like Roman Reigns and the Shield and shit was coming in. I tried. I tried to get back in it and like tried to start rewatching it again, but then like it was Roman Reigns and then um like Boogeyman was around. Uh no, Brock Lesnar was coming back from doing his uh UFC bid, I think it was. Right. Okay. Uh, I think it was right around that time, and I was just like, man, I can't fucking follow. Yeah, There's so many different storylines now that I can't fucking, I can't do it. 2010 era for the JCW is probably its peak, like getting into 2012, 2014, because when they did that 2012 gathering where they had like every single professional wrestler you could think of, they just paid him to come out and wrestle. It was like this big super JCW event, right. and you had like Gangrel, Scott Hall, you had Kevin Nash. It was like everybody. And then they also were doing hatchet attacks, and they were recording the hatchet attacks sling as well. God and they, damn. you would see Holy all shit. the wrestlers. Yeah. He all just aged. Amazing. He just aged everybody right there. The hatchet attack. <laughs> oh damn. yeah. That's the yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, well, he, he Charlie was pretty fresh for hatchet and hatch. Yeah, that was uh, what what tour or who was on that? I'm trying to remember, like who was oh, on the hatchet attack? What no? It wasn't a Lotus show. No, there was just one off shows. It was like a one-off show at Red Rocks and a one-off show in Tempe, Arizona. The well, they did a Hatcher Attack tour also. I think it was like ICP and all them. It was definitely ICP and Twisted and AMB, I think. Right? Yeah, I don't, I don't like to mention them guys. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying it's just... It's just factual history. I'm not trying to bring up shit. I'm it's just, history. Right, 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 right. <laughs> it definitely is history, though. No one we can deny, deny that. that they work. Like it's just it, it's not it's, it's not like the history books you read in school where it, half the shit is not fact. <laughs> you know, I, this I shit mean, actually happened. Like that's just who they. Right. Yeah, I get it. Like no, nah, we sucks, all we all understand that, homie. <laughs> Move on. We'll move on from that. I'm just saying, like, that's who was on their shit at the time. Yeah, I would like to see a giant, like, WrestleMania type gathering, like, where they set up the ring in the middle of where the crowd usually is and, like, well, set up you, bleacher seats. And do stuff you think like they're going to work on something like that this year? Because, you, like, you said, with them kind of upscaling it, like they did at <clears throat> Juggle a Weekend. Yeah. If they push it enough to before the gathering, because if they only do like two shows before the gathering, it might not be enough to push a bigger show. They might well, need we to have wait that one the next year. We have that one uh, May 3rd, right? Lunacy. Yep. Yep. We have Lunacy coming up, which is May 3rd. May. Theoretically, we could get, you know, two or maybe three if they tried to baby push it like that but i also think too that they need to bring it back down into the crowd instead of on the stage like they've had it the last two nights and i also I agree. Think, <laughs> i think if they were to move that time slot uh that they have to maybe a little bit earlier that like it would be even more inches there too but like Absolutely. that's also push that's also pushing into other things that are happening happening during the gathering and like jay said on the fucking 
the mm-hmm. podcast they did the other day, like they don't want to get to the point where shit is overlapping shit and you have to rush and run from one thing to the other or you're going to miss something right. like that. And I totally am with, with that 100%. Yeah, dude. G- going going to gatherings in like Cave and Rock when you had to plan out your shit and you had to miss half of this set the to that, catch dude. this shit. Good. It was... It sucked, dude, because you, you wanted to see Brother Lynch, but Tech was on. Yep. Right. And or, to walk uh, to that second stage and to be able to get back to the main stage in time, it was like always oh, walking up that hill. Oof. And then do we want to go all, all the way back? <laughs> right. See, I still would have loved the KXS of Rock, bro. Yeah, I would have liked to experience one of them too myself. I'm not going to front. I never uh, did, bro. And I remember people coming back from them and telling me like all types of crazy shit. I might be so sad. I wasn't there. Dude, <laughs> dude yeah. riding, on, riding on the ferry going over there, that was some fucking dope ass shit. Yeah, that's some carnival shit right there, and that's the type of shit that I, I, I'm unfortunately that I missed out too because like I had to give. Listen, if it came down to it, like my dream set of who I want to see, like ever in my lifetime, who I would have ever wanted to see would have been a rider set, dog, and I would have gave my left nut to see a rider set at fucking at Hog Rock, bro. Take it right now, like we could do the surgery right now if I can go back just to see that. <laughs> yep. Right. Yeah, bro. I'll never forget. Hang on, guys. I'm rolling the bar up. I'll never forget one night. I'm laying. I, I'm so laying at my campsite. Amazing. I'm laying at my campsite. Lotus. It's like two thirty in the morning, Absolutely. and I'm laying in the grass Lotus at a bro. gathering. I just would love to fucking. Ah, so jealous of every juggalo that fucking got to see them at a gathering. I'm jealous of you all, dude. Jealous. I'm laying there. I'm laying there melting in the grass at like three in the morning and all you hear is a big bass drop and all you hear is Lotus. And it was three in the morning and Lotus was playing and I'm tripping my ass off laying on the ground and the feeling, the feeling when the bass would hit, I felt like that dude on that five gum commercial laying in that big ass speaker. Like... (laughs) See, that's tough. Like, uh, but I, I'm gonna be real honest, man. I've always been on the other spectrum when it comes to riders and Lotus. My, yeah. I'll say it till the day I die. I've always been a riders guy. Okay. Me too. Yeah, it's okay. yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, I say that myself, but then again, I have a Lotus tattoo, but I don't. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love. So, I mean, I, I will Lotus. say that. I love Lotus, but if like if like somebody was like, yo. You get Riders or Lotus, and you get to pick right now. You got three seconds. I'm going to be like, ah, Riders all day. Let's go. That's just me. Right. It's, it's respectable. It's it's respectable. Absolutely. It One of my favorite things event. from the gatherings at Cave and Rock were towards the beginning of the Cave and Rock days when they did Hog Daddy's Hellfire, and they would stack the yeah. pallets so high, and you'd be tripping, and you would go near the fire, and you'd be running around the fire tripping. It was <laughs> So dope. So dope, dude. See, I, 60 I, feet in the air, they'd have pallets, and you'd be like, oh. That's hard. That's right. Uh, I, I yeah. Last year, I like, so last year, did you guys, did you go, Jay, did you see the, no, fuck. Last year, there was fire yeah. spinners. There was the fire spinner guys over by the fucking second or the tent. Yeah. And I remember being so fucked up, dog. I sat by them fire spinners for like a cool hour and a half, just like. Yeah, that re- that reminds me of <clears throat> two years ago when I went to the gathering, dude. I'm tripping fucking nuts, and I'm watching the Ferris wheel, and it's going. The lights are going in and out with the beat and all that. Then I'm right there getting ready to peek, and these motherfuckers shut it off. Oh, I was mad. Fucking, what was that? Was that gathering? That was gathering of the dreams, correct? Yes. Okay, so gathering of the dreams. Gathering has, of dreams was pretty crazy. Gathering of <laughs> dreams will always have a special moment in me, in my fucking, in my life. Because Twenty third has been my favorite so far. Though. 
Jay caught the moment of us running down the hill to fucking uh, Here Comes the Carnival. And like, uh, or no, me and Jay got the hug. And Elixir caught the film of me and Jay hugging at the bottom of the fucking hill as we're coming down. And they're fucking starting... Here comes the carnival, and I got chills on my arms just talking about it because as soon as they started, me and Jay seen each other, big ass hug, and then I turn around and fucking whoop and Taffy are standing right there, big ass hug. Oh man, that was that was peak peak juggalodium to me. Oh my god. On said you saying that, bro, is giving me fucking chills, it was, dude. It was it was a beautiful moment. It was a great fucking moment. I and love I here during that set. Moment. They had that Ferris wheel going, and then all of a sudden the smoke was so thick you could only see the Ferris wheel, and it was like, "Yeah, what is going on over here?" It was like real eerie that they thought that it was like during a song that made it real eerie. It was pretty dope. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that yeah, the man. same year that we had Mushroom Head over on second stage too? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, so I had another highlight from that year too. Is peeking fucking balls tripping nut absolute nutsack standing right here face to face with fucking mushroom head them singing fucking balls out boobity boob and i got dudes balls right here and i'm peeking off of mushrooms and they're fucking banging the water on the drums and the water's flashing up everywhere i'm just like oh my god this is the coolest thing ever yeah, <laughs> yeah dude it really was. mushroom head sets are always great yeah, it was great. Those man. cave in rock sets where they were on the main stage and they were oh, rocking yeah. that main stage, dude. Yeah. That that was at their that was at their peak. Like they were coming to do the gathering at their peak. And it was yes. it, well, was it was it, crazy. Back, back in the cave in rock days, correct me if I'm wrong again, wasn't that the OG fucking mushroom head? Like the the original guys? Because I know uh, there's been a replacement or two in the new in the one yeah, that I'm we not got. Really sure. I'm not too sure. That would have been around 2012, 2013. So yeah, then that was the OG fucking the original mushroom head too. I, man. I found it. What did Sorry. you find? The video you were talking about. Oh fuck! I just gotta go. It's a long directory. I guess a big ass hard drive. Fucking go for it a little bit, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I do what I can do. The carnival, everything is. I said, do a spot of bleeding. Juggle that for Nancy, juggle seven heads. All the county's cannibals are never fed. Damn. The hug. I'm on the spot of all the ball spits, but. All right, turn that shit down all the way. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. It's too far. I think we got less than 10 but seconds. But just running down that hill, yeah, all that. Running down that hill when that's coming on was amazing. With the with, Ferris wheel. Shit. With the Ferris wheel right in front yeah. of you, dude. I'm getting chills just, just reliving that fucking moment. That will always be it was, one yeah, of right. my top highlights of any gathering that I have, have had so far. It was a beautiful moment. Right, for sure. You want to know what another beautiful moment uh, was for me? Do it. Not from gathering. I was what, trying to transition into the other video, but we'll wait. We'll wait. Oh, 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 oh I'm just, oh. dude. I, dude, I. It's been like fucking two hours since I've watched it, so I'm like, I need to watch it again. You don't? <laughs> no, I'm just fucking. Yeah, I was. I was there. The, I was there the year Shaggy ran over that tent with the people fucking in it. No shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty sure that's the year he put up his license on golf carts too. Yeah, and then, yeah. and then I'll never forget one year it was in Nelson Ledges. Um, my homies are camped across from Camp Chaos, and Jamie's sitting on his golf cart, and this dude walks by Jamie Madrox with a pack of Skittles and was like, "Taste the rainbow, you faggot!" and just <laughs> threw them all over him, bro. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, that and yeah, that I was like, oh my god! And then Monoxide took my lighter that year. I was tripping balls. He's like, let me use your lighter. I hand him my lighter, and he drives off with it. 
Sounds like he, them. He lighter me, thief. Me and <laughs> me and Razor stop. Ray were walking through the woods, tripping on acid uh, at like four or five in the morning. The sun was just coming up. We walked up the hill, the big ass hill at Haven Rock, and all of a sudden we hear, "Who's going barrel rolling?" And we found the first time the barrel rollers came out in the morning. And they were putting people in blue trash cans and rolling them down hills over people's <laughs> tents. Over people's Damn. tents. People were getting out of their tents like, what the fuck? It was so much. It was so awesome. That's that's the kind of stuff you walk by and see when you're like just tripping there and wake and the sun's coming up. You're like, oh, barrel rollers, huh? <laughs> that's pretty fucking and crazy. It, and it's only at the gathering, bro. Like that shit only happens yeah. at the gathering. Mm-hmm. And then and then like and like the people in the tent are pissed off for like five minutes and then they get out of the tent and they're like what the fuck and then there was somebody who's like he just barrel rolled all the way down the fucking hill and they're like oh okay okay oh. hell yeah yeah and then you'll get a whoop whoop and then they'll go back to bed right they'll put up the tent again yep. and it's just another day <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to go I'll home, man. Talk to yeah. your sleep. There you go, bud. I can't wait, dude. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to go home. Yeah, I got you can't my, forget the. I got my megaphone charging as we speak, boys. As we speak. <laughs> I can't forget the megaphone. Fuck your mom. Playing and it's scheming. <laughs> Playing and like... scheming. Recording shit to play it. Oh, I got oh, them. God. I got them. Fucking uh, fuck your sleep, dudes. At the parking lot party two years ago, they're they're sleeping two cars down from me, and I look, and they're sleeping. I jump up on their car like, uh uh-uh, uh, fuck you, fuck you, don't sleep. You want to do it to us? And they were just like, yeah, fuck you, and just went back to sleep. <laughs> I know once we put the megaphone in Stoney's hand at like two o'clock in the morning and let him go free, it's like the most entertaining thing <laughs> yes, in the fucking is. world. And I just, I, that's, I love him. That's why I love that man. I know. I miss him. This yeah. Guy. He's going to be back though. He'll be back soon though. Yes. He's yes. Like, and bro. I cannot wait. Yeah, well, I he, think, right? No, no. He, he missed his bus. Oh, oh shit. shit. That's. Yeah. He'll be here soon yeah. though. I yeah, I exactly. tell you I did go I did go to the super famous show where Clockwork yeah, performed. Yeah, yeah. Kyle's birthday. Right? Yeah. I was gonna go too, but I, my car Oh wait, yeah, I was there too. Issues. That shit was awesome. I, I'll I'll tell you this, dude, that West Side Bowl venue right. it's really nice. It's got like a record store in it. The pizza was the fucking shit. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! See, every time somebody I hear somebody talk about it, I kick I'm kicking myself in the ass for not being able to go. Yeah. But yeah, like my fucking alternator is going out in my car, and I, it's like a two hour drive for me. So I was like, man, I like the last thing I want to do is like my light being fucking dim while driving in the middle of the night <laughs> on the way back or anything like that. So I was like, yeah. I, I'm just not gonna push. I'm just not gonna do. You know what I mean? I wish I would have known that. I I had a hotel room and everything, bro. Right, yeah. I you could have with me and Scotty, bro. This is why Stoney needs to be in Ohio because, like, he keeps me in the loop of shit. Because He's if not, I'm just working all the fucking day, all the time. And then I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. That's all I do is work, too. Alright, let's transition. Transition into this uh beautiful I was masterpiece trying to find another time. I was I was trying to find a different video, but it's not in the hard drive. But this uh, one is. Y'all everybody in this panel, y'all ready for this one? It's gonna be good. I promise you. Know, this, I promise you. This is a video that I wanted I, I, I was meaning to make for our year in review episode at, at new, uh, during New Year's when we were going through and we were, you know, just kind of looking back at the year we've had at the Tuggalo show. And one of those things is all the beautiful women that we've had that have put on What did you that, say to me, bro? I'm sorry. That, okay. Exactly, right? You see that hoodie that Onstead's wearing? We he Yeah, exactly. That hoodie right there. But I never got no pictures with Onstead. I don't know oh, why. He never, I never, I don't know why. 
I want one of these bitches. Five X. Yeah. We'll show you the link. We'll give you the link See, before we get out of here. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's another reason that we're gonna play this video is because we're we might be getting back into that real soon. Couldn't have think of a better fucking song. About like six times, my bad. So my new my new fucking personal goal is to have enough to fill that fucking whole song. Which is probably like another minute or so left. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, so like he said, uh with that being said, uh one of our goals is to get these hoodies back. So if anybody would want one, you know. We just, it's through a third party so that we have no hands on it. Right. All we got to do is give you guys the link and you guys can order it yourself. So there's no involvement in us. You guys can order right from the site and it gets shipped directly to your house. Really good. And just so you guys know, these are champion hoodies. They're you fucking, send the, uh, yeah, right. They're, they're and then, then if, yeah, they are good quality for sure. But if you send us the pictures, then yeah, we might get put up on the socials. Yes, so Charlie, that 5X one, you have to model for us, Big Daddy. We have to break yeah, them boy. fucking. We have to break them shorts yeah, back yours, out, boy. Yours is of contracted. Course. Your your shirt, your hoodie comes with a contract that requires <laughs> the photos. Yours is the only right. one that is that case. <laughs> hey, and and y'all already know I'll do it too. Hell yeah. yeah. We're gonna. We're our goal is to uh, anybody who would like to model get these fucking get these hoodies. We also might be having something else that we might be working on in the future too, uh, along these lines because it's been so fucking long. But uh, maybe let us know if you guys would like shirts or something because like we've thought about it, but we didn't right. really want to get uh, our foot all the way in that motherfucker because you know the merch game. Speaking of which, though, is a motherfucking you want a hint at that goofy. Flat bill. Sneak peek on that. Dog, this is all you. This is your fucking idea, and it's so fucking dope. All I'm gonna say, all I will say, is nah, they're not gonna get the full thing yet. But there <laughs> yeah. is new, there is new artwork in the making as we speak. As we speak right now, and it's a. Uh, uh, I'll even tell you by who. Yeah, there you uh, go. It's it's the we're gonna go we're going back to the uh, the first artist. We're going back to Diesel. And I had I hit him up and we made a little deal about uh new artwork and uh, maybe that could be put on a t-shirt and maybe it's actual artwork that like no nah, it really is maybe it's actual artwork that you can wear around and not just a logo you know what I mean yep exactly I mean I love the simplicity of the Thuggalo show hoodies I definitely do right but some people might like I mean the Thuggalo show being real big it, it, people are gonna ask and like maybe you don't want to have to explain to them well this new artwork 
You might not have to. I'm sure you want people to stand up like that let me rot shirt and be like, this is what I can wear all the way around and anywhere I go. Yeah, exactly. And I want to wear it at the gathering. Yep. It definitely is. And I give 100% credit to him, Elixir, because this is some dope ass shit. My mind. Well, I'm going to I'm a, I'm a go out there and I'm going to say this is technically Stoney's idea. I mean, yeah, me and him were workshopping at that time, but I'm not going to be like Cartman and steal the whole damn fish stick <laughs> joke. <laughs> so, yeah it was stony so it was mostly stony's idea and yeah you guys are gonna fucking love it i know it i'm gonna yeah, so, love it honestly so gonna love let it. us know if you guys would uh be interested in, in some shit like that because Look, he asked it, me diesel asked me what size i want the original print i'm like how big can you make it <laughs> yeah, this is a good one yeah this is a really good one um nice but yeah like, like all we said, the print boys Yes, or something like that. Maybe that maybe that's coming in the future. Bucket but, hat, more shit. But like I said, if you guys want these two, um, hit us up in the DMs, and we can send you the link of where we got these ones. And uh, like we said, we want to do more modeling. You control again. that yourself. All you because, have to do is go in there and type Thugolo Show" yep, and yep. put it on the front. You want to put your name on the back? Put your name on the back. Whatever you want. You want, and they also make the the half the ones tops. too. Yeah, so like you can get one of those if you're feeling froggy. Uh, yeah, if you guys want them, hit us up in the DMs. We'll give you guys the link. You guys can make your own shit. Uh, I think it's super cool. Or there's also another alternative. You guys can hit up motherfucking Jane Doe because she Ooh, makes. Yes. She was always down to make any of our merch too. So like, if you want to keep it and in we... the clown crew, hit up fucking Jane Doe. Ask her. Right. She'll she even for you said too. when she was just on for her chapter yep. that she was down to make all of our all of our shit for us. She was going to be our middleman for all of our shit. So that's an alternative too, right there. There right? you go. Um, so speaking of merch, you know, Lazy and Crazy has just uh, dropped another merch too. Did you see this yet, Charlie? Uh, let me see. Have you seen the pre-order for the Shaggy, uh, Shaggy the Airhead, uh, I would call it, what, a self-titled drop? Yeah, I think that's how, yeah, I think that's what he's calling it. This motherfucker is so fresh. But yeah, we never talked about, oh yeah, mm -hmm. that purple, yeah. That, that purple zip thing. down? That's so dope. Uh, a fucking yeah. clockwork E Shaggy the Airhead, bro. Oh, that yes. would be super hard. Oh, look, there's a part two. Yeah. Hell yeah, you guys. This but go back so to part one because this is something that I wanted to talk about when it first came out on the came out on that shop, but we forgot to look at that fucking gaming mega that with the vest. If you click on that vest real quick and read the detail, that it says this was the first one was sold out. Look, they put it in the headline. Sold out at Juggle Ohio 2 in a few hours. Me and Austin got one. Those vests Austin were so dope. One. Yeah, Austin got you. one and thanks partly to this man Shout right here. Shout out these two fools at the, on the bottom in the middle of the screen right now. Because <laughs> these two fools right here got me one. And like, I didn't have to shake ass for it or nothing. But And that's homie guys. shit, bro. Big facts right there. Well, I looked over at Elixir and I was like, why isn't Onstead wearing one of those? And he was like, just can't. And I was like, well, he will. <laughs> right? Big exactly. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, fuck, man. Yeah, I can afford 50. You can afford 50. And I just, I mean, that makes the load just like, you know, it's like buying a birthday gift at that point. Right, but it's not even that, bro. And, nah, it's just... and, and seeing the look on your homie's face when you take it over to him and they're fucking surprised. Yeah. And yeah. they're almost in tears. Like, this means so much. He should have seen this man, like, too. This man was like, what? Like, he was confused, too. He's like, what are you what's doing? this? <laughs> right. yeah. and, that's how, and that's how I am with shit. Like, like hypothetically speaking, Elixir, you'd give me that hat or something. Dude, I would hang right. on to that motherfucker so and so like, long, right? Right, right. Like I like my boy gave this to me. That's what makes it even better. Like be, the, right. the cool thing was is like Elixir's got his on already, right? And like 
Then they both, then he comes walking over and he's got one in his hands. And I'm like, what's, what's up with that? I was like, who's that? Right. And he's like, oh, this is yours. Me and Dre went in. Uh, I was like, what the, what? Are you fucking serious? Like, so yeah, big shout out. Thank you guys for that. I'm about to go put that bitch on. Right. One right. of a, one of a kind. One time it's going to be sold and you know, and you don't know if, uh, if he's ever going to do that again. Of course he did. But I mean, you never but knew after, after that night because Juggalo right. Ohio is like, is like something special that juggle ohio so he might not do anything like that ever again and yeah no i was like those yeah, are so dude. dope those are so dope that shit means so much on said like for real yeah the big homie card right there like really right big. right right and that's juggalo shit you don't see that in other cultures like for real i gotta buy mm -hmm. my homie a bulletproof vest i don't want him getting shot Right, especially you know we got we got that we got that totally we got that totally eclipse coming up, you guys. So you right, know, it's gonna be dark be for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what what else we got, man? Uh, Did you all see that clockwork drop? Got another clockwork drop? Yeah, I so thought I did cop the, the green. green board. I did not. I did not get the bucket hat because obviously that's not really my style. I've always been the flat bill. Me too, my, my, flat bill. My homie over here is the bucket hat dog. But I did cop the shorts in the shirt because it did instantly remind me of the lazy and crazy. Yeah, so, so yeah. hard. Gotta get all my hats. Like, I'm a hat guy too. Yeah, that's so, I like hats. Flat bills. That's it. Flat bills. I've yeah, been telling Kyle forever. Make fucking flat bills. This is well, the I do like thing. the. I do like dad hats. I will like you know me occasionally wear it. Yeah, I'll fuck with a dad hat too. For real, for real. I'm a sock like, guy. I don't have my C17s on now, but shit. <laughs> I gotta get them. I had, I don't have any of the V2. Yeah. I need. To I get got some mine on. V2 ones. I always got mine on. Power Rangers. All right. We're creeping up on the two hour mark. What else that we got to talk dope. about, really? But yeah, on that, um, on that clockwork drop, bro, they brought back the, the pinky and the brains, the pukey and the booth shirts. Yeah. Hold on. Them purple boys, bro. Let me make sure. We've learned that lesson. No. <laughs> them visors, them visors are so dope, bro. Yeah. Exactly. I mm -hmm. love that shit, man. Oh, and that idea, the boofit, came from my wifey. Yes. Yeah, she was like, they should put boofit on the back of a pair of booty shorts. Yeah, and right. And Kyle was wait, like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah the, the the pinky in the brain was one of my favorites from back then. Mm -hmm. And then in the new era, dude, new era has this purple pinky in the brain hat, but it's yeah, 50 exactly. bucks and I ain't paying that. Right. And I was like, man, but once that bitch goes on sale, boom, I'm jumping on it. But I do got the perfect hat to go with that shirt, though. But. I wanted the jersey real bad, but I'll tell you why I didn't get it. And this ain't this ain't like me being oh, mad nice. at anybody or whatever. But the six one four on the back of the jersey is obviously six one four's area code for Columbus. That's uh, right. That's the Cincinnati Red logo, uh, and it kind of. You know what I mean, man? It just yeah. it, it bugs me personally as somebody who grew up in Ohio and shit. You know what I mean? Like I might, I, have been born, I might have been born in Oklahoma, but I fucking grew up in Ohio. So like it does bug me to see a Cincinnati Red kind of like logo with a six one four on it. It just I don't know, man. I feel it. It's just me being. A little nitpicky, but yeah, that's a dope ass <laughs> jersey for sure, though. But yeah, that uh, nice that purple Sega thing hat, Stoney gave that bitch to me. Yeah, yeah, 
and that motherfucker hangs up on my shit. I wanted to do something similar with this boy right here. So Onset knows this hatchet man. Yeah, look. Right. I think you wore it, didn't you? For a little bit, or uh, no, no, because you got the one on. Yeah, I know yeah, Stony. I let Stony wear it, and then I wore it. I'm trying to get like you know how like the uh, uh the Brotherhood of the Traveling Hatchet Man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just get, bro, I'm gonna send it to you, Jay. I'm gonna send it to you. You can wear it in Hawaii, and then you'll pass it on, and we'll fucking we'll yes. make it. We'll That's make it a real up, thing, bro. Or I'll just pick it up from you next month. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Astrid Haven says, hey, guys, I drop. I wanted to drop in and ask a question. What up? And what then up? also, also, also. Look, here's the link. Says, I like cheese. I Look, like cheese, here's, too. Here's a link to the stream yard because it's an open panel. That might not Even though it's getting. Idea. But. Yeah, why? Because it's uh, almost a two-hour mark. That, yeah. Because it's getting towards the end of the show. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're right about there. Yeah, we really are. Because we really don't have no more news to talk about. Or there's no news to talk about because while we've covered all of the tours going on. Uh, uh, The one thing we didn't cover is... Ooh. Yep. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I might be getting a tattoo tomorrow, spur of the moment thing, because the Rose of Web is having the three-year anniversary tattoo party in Delaware. As you know, that is the shop that belongs to Eli Ling, the homie himself did the fucking thing, clown painting, art book. Uh, he did my tattoo on my neck, where it says Elixir, my self-titled tattoo. <laughs> self self titled, self proclaimed. Yes. But yeah, he's throwing his party tomorrow. It starts at fucking twelve if you are in the fucking general vicinity of Ohio, Delaware, Central Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Pull up, get you some tattoos. Go right, because he has the, the they have a whole sheet of flash art, right? And it's like a hundred dollar tattoo for the party. Oh yeah. Right? And but you only four arms and legs, and it ha I think it might have to be something off the sheet. But this sheet includes some pretty badass butterflies for one, which can be juggalo as fuck, as we all know. And two, it had a fucking chicken being hung from a noose, and I'm like, dude, I kind of <laughs> want the choking chicken. I kind of want hard. the have like, for a chicken hunting, you know what I mean, something like that. Like, yeah have That's the butterfly tough. carrying the chicken <laughs> yeah from the yeah exactly right that'd be even That's better cool. That's tough. so yeah, yeah if you guys I, are in the vicinity man pull up on fucking the rosen I'll, I'll probably be there later on in the day because i have to make a trip up north before i go there and i always don't get back till around four so i probably won't be there until fucking six he said, I got to go up to Michigan and not see the homie, though, so we're going to go yeah. back and get... Oh, Michigan. <laughs> the, the, homie, the homie don't live on the border. Facts. Facts. I'll give him that. Uh, I'd like to make that trip with you one time, Elixir. Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, oh, yeah, when Stoney's back in uh, Ohio, shit, bro, let's all do it. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. down. Yeah. And then you guys can travel the little, the little extra 45 minutes to an hour exactly. up to come and see my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Let's do the it. The main reason I don't is because I'm with Pops. And then, like, right. you know what I mean? He likes to get back, too. And that's already fucking uh, three hours, three and a half hours. Oh, here. So Look, Bundy gave you something else to talk about, yo. Bundy that said go cop your motherfucking show. tickets to the 420 show right now, motherfucker. Venue, and damn, if the you don't know what we're talking 100. about, we're not going to tell you. All we're going to tell you is to go back and watch the Bundy chapter. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it was a good, that was a good interview. Chapter go, 6, I do believe. Go back, give us another view, and then hit that link that's in that motherfucker. And go buy you a ticket right now because it's only at 100. The venue's limited to 100, and that's going to be a pretty dope show. 
Uh, here we go. There's Astrid's question. He said, we're getting together a bunch of Juggalo-related artists to launch a new Halloween festival in South Carolina this year. Would you ninjas be help me down to help, pro, help pro, promote? All the profits go towards food and toy drives. Um... That's a great fucking idea, one hundred percent. Maybe if you hit up uh maybe if you hit up our DMs, maybe we can work we can work something out. No, on that, definitely. That's pretty fresh. In South Carolina, it went hard as fuck for that Ouija. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Both. I love, I love fucking Chapel Hill. Yeah, so I, I think we could. That, that'd be something we could probably help help promote for sure. As long as you guys can figure out, you know, the venue and you figure out all your shit, we'll promote the fuck out of it. Right. Anything to help the fucking help the family prosper, rise and prosper, and any that's going to charity too. That's hella fresh. Yeah, that's exactly. That's the fresh ass reason right there. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's yeah. on Halloween, like for all y'all that can't make the drive all the way up to Michigan for Hollow, for Hollow Wicked. Man, this yep. is your show right there. Yeah. With uh, yeah, dude, hit up, hit up the DM. Maybe we can work something out, especially uh, if you guys are trying to do that shit this year. Uh, yeah, hit up the DM. Uh, with that being said, man, we're at the two Eat hour mushrooms. mark. Eat lots of mushrooms. <laughs> they're, good for, they're good for you. Actually, I take that back. They're they are Ooh. good for you, but they can also. Uh, be bad for you as we learned for you. earlier. As we show. learned earlier, <laughs> goddamn! Look at that. That's called a recap, if you will. So go check out the mushroom recap we did earlier for M. Anamoya. 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 I can't wait for that album, you guys. I'm so excited for that shit. So uh, we haven't announced who we have next week, and we're not going to announce next week because you guys know already how the fuck we do. We keep you on the edge. We edge you as exactly. just like fucking Jay Herm does with the JC. You'll hear about it Monday. Other. You fucking, yeah, we're going to edge you, and then we're going to leave it till Monday. And then we're going to fucking, we'll help you guys blow the load, and then we can blow it together as a family. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Not like, not like the Super 17, though. Not that. <laughs> I don't want to get that close. The gang bang super eight. The gang bang super eight. Oh, he said I we opened for. It. I don't yeah, have it. Story. I just want to get back. Hell yeah! What, at man? the super famous show, Clockwork played their new song. Gang bang at the super eight. Yeah, I ain't got it loaded up yet. No, it's called Dirty Dirt Bag. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That they, they did premiere. Fire. Yes, it, there's videos on TikTok and Facebook. Listen to that motherfucker, dude. It's dope as shit. Dude, I the, uh, okay. I'm gonna talk about that just for a little bit before we close it out. I cannot fucking wait for that album, The Clock. I don't even know. I don't know. Look, dude, it kind of sucks fucking talking to them occasionally because, like, I don't know how much they have actually hinted at and released and all this shit. So I'm just like. I don't even want to say the name of the album because I don't even know if they even fucking said that. But right. Yes, I cannot Facts. wait for the new album. Yeah, that's true. That's, even, that's a good point. Oh I don't god, know what they've know. said so far, but I've heard some of it, and oh my god, it's... Right. I can't get enough. Dude, I'm going to say it right now. Like, Bill is my favorite fucking rapper. There's a reason, <laughs> there's a reason why they're the number one unsigned fucking artist in the right. game right now. And you know? two yeah. years. Two years being a group, they're already mainstays. You know how many ninjas, how many juggalo artists died and dream of playing the mainstays and ain't done it in 10 years? Oh, right. And like, they did all this in a short, um, I wouldn't say a short amount of time, but a decent amount of time. I mean, realistically, right. though, it is a short amount of time. Two short, years yeah, in the, in the fucking overall, yeah. Two years right. is, a, is, a, is a short amount of time, realistically, but in like the music industry two years to remain irrelevant or relevant and and like top tier relevancy is outstanding you know and yeah f- and for them to do that shit without anybody else backing them with them just doing it themselves it's very right right very pure and i think that's the reason why we all love it even more is because it's so fucking pure pure juggalo and, fucking shit right pure juggalo shit dude 
how I see it is you don't got to be a whore. You ain't got to be a scary motherfucker. I like to have fun. I like to wall out and party. That's what that, clockwork E is, is fucking juggalo shit, bro. And right. every time I've seen clockwork E, I've seen one other guy. And, and all I got to say is he's been putting out some stuff. And all I'm going to say is the hive. Like, that's all I'm going to say. Like right. that whole that's situation, dude. I am. I love that man so much, and I'm so excited for what's going on with the hive and the way that everything's building with that as well. It's so so amazing. He was that uh, obviously uh, super. fucking super famous too. Yeah. Yes, he was. It's one of those if you know, you know. And you know. Yeah, we like. <laughs> well, it's only decent to have it all mysterious, anyways. It's but I like to, I like to see it all. I like to see Juggalo succeed, regardless of anything. Yeah, no, that's when it comes. When it comes as down, as long as they're not it, wearing yeah. a, a Magic Ninja Entertainment badge, right. succeed and prosper. Right. Yeah, this man was like, if you do, then shame on you. Shame on your cow. Shame on your family. Oh, yeah, that. yeah, we don't. We don't fuck with them guys. Same on the cow. This shit's but, yeah. funky, dog. Woo. Yeah, I was watching you fucking die. Really. <laughs> <laughs> they got a deal yeah, going I, on right now. <laughs> Three for twenty-five. So I'm like, all right, run. Right oh damn! <laughs> right. That's what's up. Yeah. Look, we were gone two hours and two minutes and two seconds, and I was gone. But we were there <laughs> for one second. But yeah, right. man, it's been a hell of a fucking stream. We have fucking Big Nit join us. Whoop, whoop. Good old Jay Herm. It's always a pleasure for you. Yeah, whoop, whoop. Nah, it's so good to be here, man. Today. It feels so good. All the way live again from fucking... From Maui in the fucking from a relief tent in from Maui. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Thanks, Elon Musk that... and your Starlink. <laughs> right. Elon look, Elon. man. That's, look, look. That's the closest to like on ground journalism any of us have ever gone. You know what's crazy? Right. <laughs> Starlink is kicking ass, and unfortunately, Connor's internet on the mainland was fucking <laughs> having problems. What the fuck? Right. What the fuck is going on here? I think so, he left his Xbox running. Somebody did. Right. But thank you guys for pulling up on us. We're gonna drop you guys backstage. We love yes, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Love, love you guys. guys. We will see you guys Whoa. real soon. We will Whoa. see you guys in a few months. In a few short months, we'll all be home sipping fucking that sweet fago in the in the hot summer ass. Ohio hot, heat. Hot summer. Hot. Yes. All right, guys. We love you guys. We All right. Woo, woo. Later. Love guys. Woo. Aloha. Love you. Woo, woo. Hell yeah. Damn. Love that it's been shit. been an eventful, eventful stream. And you know what? If I'm not mistaken, dog, this is our first time, like, actually dropping a link in the chat. Oh, no. It really is. Up. Open it up like that on the channel. Other than that, we've had, you know, our guests and our pages of the week. Uh, right like we've had homies hit us up on the fly and be like hey let me on right. before yeah like right. uh kyle like loki. Bill and fucking, yeah yep loki like fucking a bunch of people but this is the first time we've really like dropped it in the in the chat and let you guys actually come aboard so if you guys are feeling with us feeling this and, and you guys fuck with this Maybe let us know in the this. in the comments. You know, maybe we as can you, uh, as you can tell, I did title it season two clowning episode, episode one. one. So if you guys are fucking with these episodes, let us know in the in the comments uh after this is over so we can read it. Because we're still trying to come up with other things because you know Exactly. It's it's these interviews that we always do obviously we knew blunts and Fl we did this with blunts and fagos and everybody loved that shit everybody and loved it we're like damn we got it now we, that was a demand right everybody loved it so like we're gonna do this we've also talked about uh um something 
that I oh, did back shit, bro. at another what? I got a whole nother video. Oh yeah? Yeah. Something else that we were talking about doing and uh reacting to and watching and Oh yeah, we got yeah, I forgot about that stuff. We got some reels to watch. Jay's still going? backstage. Hold on. Stop eating. Nah. What do you what are you <laughs> eating? eating? What are you, what are you eating? What are you eating? What was uh, the meal from the day that we thought would be unsheltered. So it's like a chili with kale and um, carrot oh, topping. Yeah. With God damn, you ate broccoli. better. They you ate better than I did at work today. <laughs> they they served some kind of like chicken cutlet and I don't know some fucking. Listen, green, I'm not gonna have you. I don't listen, know. I'm just fucking, I'm just listen I've worked in, I've worked in them chefs' positions that you're talking shit about. Don't talk shit about them because they worked their ass nah. off for making that meal. Mm-hmm. Nah, they worked their balls shit's off. always good. That shit's always good. <laughs> the walking tacos are amazing. I'll fucking give them that. <laughs> they make a hell of a walking taco. But anyways, all right. Here's the whole thing. We've talked about this for a long time where we wanted to just kind of go through some reels. Because, like, we all we all do this and we all sit on our phones when we're chilling and we'll see something that we all want to kind of like uh that we're just like what the fuck and we share to each other in our chats so like we figure like uh jay you know how ymh does their their tiktoks and shit like i think nobody does that in our culture so why don't we start doing that and maybe we can have our own inside jokes and we can have our own little uh well, like uh, curations, if you will, the thuggalo curations right. of the throughout the week of shit that we see. So I think we're gonna start yep. it tonight, and then we'll let you guys decide on if yeah, this is a, a piece of something three that minute. stays. It's a, yeah, it's just <laughs> this is minute. awesome. And I, I have an seen idea this. for a good segment. Right. I oh. some of the okay. So some of the audio that people use in reels are copyrighted. So I do have uh, to go through and yeah, mute, just mute some it. of them. Well, this one, uh, as you can tell in the bottom, it was originally Hey Yeah by Outcast, but I changed it to Clockwork. <laughs> but look, I added this one because I know some of y'all's cars be looking like this. Look, this motherfucker has a whole ass rotor as a fucking steering wheel. His subwoofer is a fucking... Pause it. Pause it. Oh, go back to that. Uh, I don't even get to see that. Yeah. What was that? So... The funny thing about that is the way the with the way that subwoofers work is I bet you that thing sounds pretty goddamn good too. Right. Like I Dude, bet you it sounds pretty decent. <laughs> wow. The reverberations yeah. on that bit's gotta be decent. <laughs> the next one it was what got me is because this motherfucking exhaust, bro. It's Look at the bass. Helium tape. Yeah, that bass was kicking. <laughs> This is a whole ass helium tank as a fucking silencer for a muffler. The exhaust is the... Bro, it's like... He had that bitch welded and like opened and like he put time into that when you could have just Dude, somebody did put some craftsmanship. Look, Look he at welded that shit. a fucking... Yeah, he welded... I thought it was a toilet top. paper tube first. No, no. Oh, it's actual like, metal! The... I thought it was too... Actual... No. They welded that, bro. They took their time on that one. Think, bro, like you could have spent that time making, like you could have went and bought a fucking Cadillac converter for that fucking time. Dude, that yeah, you shit. could, you could have just used flex piping. I'm sure to fix whatever the fuck it was. That too. That too. Wanna sleep? I just wanna smoke. This one I sent to Austin already, bro. This move is, this one's the best. I don't, I don't know, know if you. Did you? See, I don't did know you... if y'all. <laughs> he took two I didn't rips. record enough of it. <laughs> he took two <laughs> rips. <laughs> Jesus. This man He's about like, spit oh. out his fucking. <laughs> but look, look. Now it's payback for the plane, right? Now I got payback. All right, I had to like. Okay, the plane took out the two rooks. Now the now it's the plane's turn, right? Look, read it. Lightning strikes plane twice, right? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 
get the fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> oh, all right. I had to. <laughs> so. Did you, I don't know. Did you guys catch that? No. What? No. Watch, watch, watch. Man walks up like he's holding a baby, right? Dude gets up off the seat to let him sit down. <laughs> he had his backpack wrapped up in his hoodie. Damn. And he keeps a straight God. face the whole oh, time, bro. You won't even smile at him. In his eyes, son. Like he's looking yeah. at his soul, bro. He's like, what's so funny? Look at him. What? What? The dude's like, fuck, bro. I'm gonna just he go said, over here. Yeah, he said it's a seat over there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody around him is done. All right, this is my favorite. You guys ready? Hey, you got this, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Get it. Let's go. Come on. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> He got it down. <laughs> listen. Oh, oh one he said, motion. He said, he, listen, listen. I think I cut, he says, I think I cut my ear. <laughs> Man, I might have to turn these up next time. I know I might have the volume a little bit louder. I think I cut my ear. <laughs> I love this video. Fuck. Facts, son. <laughs> Big old facts. Have you seen this one? No. Right? So she walks through it all like jack, right? And it don't go off. But if she walks through it normally, the alarm goes off. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that. <laughs> And that's and that's why Walmart prices are going or Walmart oh, right. accounts are going away. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> the body work. Whoa. The Bigfoot. Yeah. Diesel. Diesel, there he oh, is. <laughs> <damn. laughs> Into the ditch. It says to at the end, FYI, Bigfoot may be strong, but is neither fast nor agile. Damn, dog. <laughs> this, <laughs> ate that. This next one comes from overseas for sure. It's got to be. He ate that shit. Oh. Ooh, ooh. The luck Dang. on that shit, dude. The luck yeah. on it. Wow. Dang. Ooh. <laughs> the fuck you, bro? Bro, that's gotta be... Some kind of, like, movie filming yeah. or something, or... That's wild. Oh, no. That is wild. <laughs> what? Uh, Look, bro. Bro, are you hiding something? <laughs> <laughs> you hiding something if you got that much right wow dog imagine trying to put that in drunk imagine yeah. trying to, or tripping <laughs> balls at the gas <laughs> right like open you your phone fuck no what? oh shit oh. That's yeah. someone on the pirate ship mask next year. <laughs> no, dude. This is why they. This is why. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna pause it. If for everyone wondering why Shanghai does not let anybody on the pirate ship besides the performers, this is why. <laughs> <laughs> what was he doing? Oh, Where was he talking? He was like an. That's why I, I think he was an acrobat. Too. Right. He, he had some tied to his. He had some tied to his foot. Oh, so that bitch yeah. just gave out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it just it. buckled. Yeah. It wasn't supposed to buckle. It's just Bro. poor craftsmanship. It's Cardi's. Yeah. What do you expect? 
Oh, that's Russian, bro. Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> that, this is why I need the video. That's why I need the audio ladder, because there is no context to this one. This dude's like, look what I found in the basement of some whatever. <laughs> and then and then this dude comes on. That's mine. <laughs> you better give it back. Oh god. Yeah, we're gonna have to do I don't even uh that dude we're gonna have to do more of those. We just gotta be careful, copyright strikes and stuff like that. Like I got an idea for an episode. Alright, Troy, let's hear it. Alright, we're all nerds. We all collect things. Me, it's Harry Potter and Disney shit. Maybe right. you should do something like, hey, you know, this is my collection of horror. Or, right, right. Like, show a couple of your grow pieces and... Damn, Charlie. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm a nerd. I got a fucking... Tell. I got fucking Snoop Dogg Funko Pops and Alice Cooper Funko Pops and <laughs> You know what? That's a yeah. good idea, Charlie. Woody, That's a good Woody. idea. Woody. Yeah, Woody, all the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, oh, now because that you're of that up, tape. Woody. Because of that tape, I just want to bring something up because it flashed through my oh, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When we when Ouija was in that commercial, uh, uh, his Instagram post where he's sitting on the thing with the book yes. in his hand and he's reading yes. the book. That's the same book that was given to Violent J on YMH. Yep. That's why I was like, was he there for that? What was going on? Because he has the book that was given to Violent J on YMH. Uh, what was it? That old thought from uh, from from church or some shit? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or I was that, like, oh, he's got the thought book. He's got the thought uh something. Listen, it was like them books are real are real life shit. So y'all should go peep them books out because they're fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> uh but Woody, you turned in at the fucking uh little segment that we're gonna try to debut every week with like our own little curations of fucking We'd be sending reels to each other all the time in group chats. It's the same as everybody else that you right, know what so... I mean. Like we got it's why not Why we not bring it to, to everybody and like instead of getting our where we don't get to see our reactions, why not do it live where we get to see everybody's reactions and you guys? Yeah, because he didn't know which ones I chose. No, no, and I think that's even funnier. But this show and tell idea, Charlie, is great. Is that's, we're gonna yeah, have to work gonna this in. One. We're gonna work this. I got plenty the more, bro. I got plenty more good ideas like that. That's a so good one. yeah. Um, should we do it as in a submission or like, so like, Hey, if you want to be on the show and show something off, hit us up and we'll put you on. Right. We'll put, or, we'll, we'll book you on a fucking a chapter. So maybe I think we should talk about be, that. Yeah. Or do like a couple fucking like a couple of your favorite movies. Like mine's kids in strange land. You know what right. I mean? It could be a nice little segment to replace page of the week with. There's that, and there's also like we've talked about at like uh, maybe a, a juggalo game night, if we will. Yeah, maybe some, some I'd be dope. Yeah, on. motherfucker, play Boulder's Gate three with me. Or me. or <laughs> this, or we could, we could talk about other genres of music that we're into. Like me, it's new metal all day. Oh, you'll be. Right. We we've 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 talked. About, yeah, we got we got we got plans. We're working on that. something like that. Charlie. Yeah. We're working I like, on. It. I like to help you guys with that because I'm yeah. very musically knowledge and shit. I am gonna but, say yeah. there is one new metal artist that I really do want to get on here, and uh, dude, we're gonna say it again because we've already said it on the show before. Who oh, the Mad Kelly guy? That's who I'm talking oh, no. about. That's who oh, okay, I want to get too. on the show. I don't that know if too. you guys have seen him. He's like a small little new metal artist. Check him the fuck out. There Mad is a Kelly couple and of King Eight. 10 one or yeah, I want 810. Eight, King, yeah, I want King 810 so fucking bad because, like, since Juggle Ohio 2, again, I've been listening to them a lot as well, too, man. right? And we've seen them a couple times. The and, fat like, around your heart is like literally in, like, I literally didn't even add it to a different playlist, like, I just put it in with my fucking. Mm-hmm you know c17 and juggalo playlist like just yep. straight up my juggalo caviar yeah you know, i have a fucking put it right in there 
Yeah, that's definitely one that uh, I went on too. There's also a couple more that we're not going to talk about because like we wanted to yeah. be a surprise. We've also right. we, we spilt a lot of tea tonight, but uh, yeah, we're looking for. <laughs> We're gonna also we're gonna do our interviews, but we're also looking for some new. We're thinking about some new fresh flavor to bring to the table. That not like stuff that not anybody yeah. else is doing. Like as we well as the individual videos that we drop, as in vlogs and everything like that. Our yeah, our vlogs, our blunts and fagos. We want to continue yep. doing. We're gonna continue. This Juggalo game night has been an idea that we've talked about for a long time, but haven't. I'm gonna been able make to these implement. motherfuckers play a D and D campaign with me. That, I'm can also, <laughs> that we can also play like games live with the chat and like fucking uh cards against humanity there can be like 10 people on this fucking website all at once where anybody can play like it, we, we got some dope ideas coming so yep. you guys make sure to stay fucking tuned stay tuned for monday because we got that promo coming in hot and fresh off the steamer so you guys can see what's happening next friday and uh yeah dude we're almost at two and a half mark two and a half hour mark yeah. so like we've thank been going you. a little bit longer here lately too we have yeah, mm-hmm. for real because i don't have to get up at 6 a.m any- or 5 a.m anymore so that's fucking bonus right i i don't have to get up that early i still have to get up early but it, it's still not to work which is fucking great but it's, it's a little different it's a little different when you have to get up early but you don't have to go to work <laughs> mm-hmm. right but yeah with that being said thank all y'all for fucking joining us once again thank you to everybody who pulled up tonight fucking jay fucking big nip yeah. uh jason 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 fucking names yeah you gotta say it uh, right jason yeah james. I, I nathan, nathan, name. nathan james just sounds ridiculous yeah it's a dumb name fucking Jesus. goof goofy goof but connor fucking everybody man thank you guys for pulling up on us on our first ever fucking uh our first ever Clown open panel episode. Open panel, interviews, clown fucking episode, whoop de wop. There'll be plenty more of these in the future. And like uh like I said, keep your eyes past, peeled fresh Monday for that fucking promo on what we doing next week. That's who we got. Cause it is a chapter, we'll give you that much. Yeah, it is a chapter. It is a chapter. No more clowning. Clowning will be back maybe in another three weeks, four weeks, something like that. We'll figure it out. All right, do it but, once a month. There you go. Yeah, there we go. Listen, Big Nips, how do you know our fucking you? You already in our brains. Look, like, this dude is sauce. a manager hey. by every <laughs> too. He is like a jack of all trades. He's man. out here calling all of our moves out. Like he, he already knows what we're gonna this do is, before we do. My bad, this calling is why, y'all. This is why Kyle. <laughs> look, this is why Kyle and Bill keep this man close. Facts. You just learned. You just learned the secret. With that being said, you guys, we'll see you guys next fucking week. 10 p.m., same fucking time every week. You guys know the fucking deal. Make sure you call that number because we got a fresh-ass album coming out soon, real fucking soon, and we can't wait for it around this motherfucker. So, yep. Man, Amoria you- is coming. The human every trials. Friday. The human Side trials. effects will be expected. Pull up, you guys, next week. We will see you guys then. 17 whoops to your motherfucking face. We'll see you next week. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. 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 Hey, shout out. Thuggalo show for this bitch. Every fucking city. Thuggalo hey, show hey, represent. Hey, hey. Free will in the bitch. Darby in the bitch. Shout out Thuggalo show. Love you motherfuckers for real, bro. Hey, this is Ouija Mac, the ugliest juggalo that ever fucked your bitch. <laughs>